together yeah. um, without Stefan, which means things might be a little slow or messy. Yeah. Okay. Um, because like we Stephen said that originally he was not planning on like doing anything today other than like IRL stuff because he mm -hmm. has finals to work on and mm -hmm. house cleaning to do. So like he might show up later if he yeah. finishes, but it'll just be me and Melody's running the stuff for now. Okay. Hmm. Oh shit. Okay. So I'm gonna have to play a lot of NPCs. Um, I'm not that good at changing my voice, um, especially once I sort of settle into an NPC. Mm -hmm. So. Nart says <laughs> this. Nart says that. Yeah. But Nart doesn't. <laughs> okay, I am going to refresh my roll twenty real quick because I've had it open a long time, and I want to make sure that like. It doesn't do stupid shit in the middle of me playing. Mm-hmm. You can always you can always try. Uh Maladies, I'm also gonna pin that uh like summary thing that you typed earlier that I probably should have pinned earlier. Oh, uh, that's fine, that's fine. Just so I have Okay. Uh, let me just start cooking the Faye accent. Haha, <laughs> you need salt? I have so much salt. The Faye accent? Yeah. It needs salt. Oh. Everyone has made it back to the three thing. Free bang camp. We're off to a great start. <laughs> um. Now would be time for a recap. Yes. Uh, that that or is good. Or do you good. want to do that a bit? Um. I mean, algebra. Do you want to do the recap? Because. Well, remember, I can't because I was gone for the end. Mm. Okay. So. Okay, how about we have each of them recap, like, their own little Ooh, yeah. part of it? Okay, so, so like, so, yeah, like... You, yeah, you guys made it, you guys made it to the Threefing tribe, um, and then there seemed to be some trouble, um, getting a scavenging run going, and so they said, okay, we'll go, but Norik has to come with us. So, poor Norik was like, I don't know what to do, and, and sort of went along with it. Uh, and meanwhile, Gurkavish talk to Esther for a bit. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. to be more precise, it was um, them talking to Gurkovich, and then Esther showed their amulet, and because um, Gurkovich eventually it was asking both of us to go with the goblins to make sure they were safe, and then mm -hmm. uh, Esther showed the amulet, and she was like, oh, actually, I want to talk and to Esther. And then Gurkovich was like, yeah, she's like, hey, come in here a moment. Okay, uh... Let's start with Norik. Um... We went on a fun adventure. <laughs> fun hunting adventure. Uh huh. Hunting what? adventure. What, Norik back okay, so Norik days. and the goblins in the scavenging group left the cave and walked through the forest a bit and eventually reached the area where they'd placed the traps. And, you know, like, they came upon the first trap, like, really quickly. And, you know, they took a look at it and they were like, oh. You know, this trap's empty. No bait, no catch. Mm -hmm. This bitch empty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, Nora came up with the idea of, well, you know, what if you try, like, baiting it so that you can catch, like, deer or something? What's deer? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, not only were the goblins like, what's deer, but when Nora, like, tried to describe what a deer was, he said that they were kind of like small horses, which <laughs> freaked them out. <laughs> I specifically thought of horses because I was trying to think how to describe it, and then you mentioned how mm -hmm. how goblins don't like dogs and horses. I was like, oh. Horses. Goblins have a pathological fear of dogs and horses specifically. Hell yeah. Yeah. Like, it's literally why they 
like they have like weapons that are dog slicer and horse chopper <laughs> yeah yes like specifically for killing their hated foes dogs and horses mm -hmm. they're nemesis anyways i can't believe that steve steven is a goblin meanwhile they have goblin dogs <laughs> although it's more rat like but still yeah the goblins are more ratty but they are a weird exception they're adorable Anyway, so like they looked at the first trap and then they set it to, you know, try and catch deer. Like Norik found some like berries and stuff like that. You know, things that herbivores would eat. Yeah. Not meat. And then they and then they continued on to the next trap. Along the way, Norik heard uh something or someone walking through the woods, but not anywhere that he could see. And then they passed a stone wall area where you know, the previous goblin scavenging runs had come by on their way to the next trap. And it was basically graffitied, you know, like, so-and-so was here. Yeah, thankfully, I understand, like that. Uh, share language lets me read as well, so... Yes. Yeah. So what... Nork was able to read the graffiti, and he was like, oh. That's cute. And, like, some of the goblins stopped to, you know, add their own graffiti. <laughs> Ballad considered it, but then kept going... And, like, not too far after that was the second trap. Um, this one... <laughs> um, I it didn't have anything in it. <laughs> it didn't have anything in it. But, um, whenever Ballard got really close, it actually ended up snapping shut on his arm. <laughs> and he was like, ah! And so Norik had to, uh, disable the trap to get Ballard out of it. But, like, it took a while because the role wasn't that great for Disabled Device. But, you know, like, he managed to do it. <laughs> and then, like, Ballard was putting on, you know, like, kind of a... brave face about, like, oh, you know, I'm not hurt that bad. Like, I can still move hand and stuff. And, like, he was, like, you know, bending his fingers and stuff like that. I'm not the dead Nork was yet. like, oh... Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'll let you in on a little secret. Um, I don't think it was too bad, but it was, like, kind of bad. I don't remember exactly how much damage it inflicted, but, like, these goblins are also kind of fragile. Yeah. Then you like, Nord patched him up with the Cure Light Wounds wand. For babies. And then, um, you know, they tried to repair that trap. Um, because they didn't have proper tools, you know, like, it might not work properly, but still better to at least set it up and hope that it goes off, rather than just completely leaving it, like, disassembled, basically, after it was disabled, so that Nora could get Ballard out. And then, like, as they continued walking through the forest, um, one of the goblins, Ruxer, um, basically expressed opinions that he yeah. was not happy with Gorkovesh and her leadership of the tribe and um you know, basically he wanted to like head on over and defect to the big boss and then the other goblins were like shut up <laughs> because the shut other goblins... hmm? sorry go on when the other goblins more like, like they still want to follow Gurkhavesh, so they weren't happy about someone like basically disrespecting her. And then they rounded the corner on the path and came along to the third and final trap. Um, this one was broken, like into pieces something had come along and destroyed it, but also there was some blood on it. So it had actually caught something, but then had been destroyed afterwards. And there was a blood trail leading away from it, so they followed that. And as they went further along the path, they came to a fork in the road. They couldn't tell exactly which way, you know, whatever had broken this trap was going because there were a bunch of footprints, like not just the ones that they were following, but older footprints too. Oh, hold on a second, I have to- To, to be clear, they came across more of a freak in the road. 
And thankfully, I took the wrong paths so we could explore. <laughs> Are you enjoying the wind? What's up, Knock Knock? Why do you cry so much at the screen door? Yeah, huh? That's, that's correct. <laughs> he knows what wind is. Uh, Twig, do you want to continue until Algebra gets to use voice, or...? Right, yeah. So, um, Norik tried to guess that maybe the wolves might have gone up the top path, but as he was walking by, um, he saw this extra path. And he was oh, oh, hang on, what is this? Like, there weren't any footprints, like, doggy footprints maybe, but he was curious. Mm -hmm. And one of the goblins said, oh, I'll have a look, and he climbed up a tree. And then the rope trap happened, where mm -hmm. the rope trap went zoop, and it missed, but then it broke off of the, uh, it broke off <coughs> the rope, the log broke off of the rope, and it just bowled everyone over, including Nork. Nork's like, I know how Esther feels now. <laughs> mm. Um, but yeah, and after that, Nork was very on guard, very, uh, and then we found a camp, like, uh, Looking at the campfire and the kind of quote unquote tent, it wasn't really a tent, it was more like a very basic shelter. Um, Nork was like, oh god, um, you know, humans? Oh god, we should probably leave, but the goblins like, oh my gosh, what is all this stuff? Cool! And then they found a bag of tobacco, which, um, <laughs> tobacco seeds. Which one of the goblins tried to eat and found that it was disgusting. So Nork was like, Nork managed to make the nature check to identify as tobacco seeds, and he was like, "Yeah, don't eat that." And the goblin's like, "Okay, I don't want it." I was like, "Okay, I'll just <laughs> take it. Maybe Esther will like it. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. It's seeds. It's plants. Maybe Esther will like it?" <laughs> Question mark. Zach will be like, uh, "I want to plant those seeds." <laughs> Nork's just like, sees weird- sees plant thing. I'll bring it to Esther. <laughs> <laughs> Esther raising her brow at Nork like, You have no idea what this is, do you? No, I know- Anyways. <laughs> I know, I just- I don't know, I thought you might like- Anyway, we- so we- so we get yeah. out of there. <laughs> Thankfully with no, um, first level adventurer encounters that I was fearing. Um, <laughs> we went to the top path that Nork initially suggested. Um, it was a dead end, but there was a big pond, so Nork was talking about, oh, maybe you can get some fish. Nork started explaining how to fish, and he looked over the pond, and BAM! A freaking swan came out! <laughs> <laughs> and then the swan died. Like, like that's literally Instantly. how I can describe it. It, <laughs> it died within a round. Um, and then the goblin started, like, freaking tearing into it, you know, getting the meat and shit. And oh, jeez. Well, yeah, Nork was like, wait, hang on, maybe you could- I'm trying to, like, you know, make sure they're carving it properly. But then, one of them goes mm -hmm. quick into the neck, and there was, like, a weird rock in there. And then, I had a moment where Algebra and, um, freaking- They were explaining to me that swans and long-necked birds tend to swallow rocks. And I was like, that's so freaking weird. Because Twiggies mm -hmm. didn't know that. Anyway, I took mm -hmm. the rock- Well, specifically was... the mere swans, they swallow rocks. Yeah. To help with the digestion because they eat fish that are acidic. Yeah, I was like, man, that's so Just like weird. dinosaurs. Birds are so weird. And I found a yeah. we found a rock in there, but it'd been cracked by one of the goblins like like cracking it because it... hmm. But wait, what? Yeah, I identified it as an ion stone. Hmm. It's now cracked, but I'm cheeky and I looked on the um um from Nor um um nature check and. Uh, spellcraft check. He gathered that it could have some kind of food, um, like make you not hungry property, which explains why this swan was looked fairly well nourished considering the situation. Hmm. But cool. So Nora takes that. We carved the bird, and it was all good. And then one of the goblins stumbled into, um, a patch of grass which ended up being the swan's nest but we did manage to salvage one egg and Nork's gonna show them how to hard boil it it's gonna be great <laughs> then we went
went down to the south path. I was like, whatever, just kind of went through. There's one more trap. Uh, that was where the broken, uh, not the broken trap. It was, oh, I don't think there was a trap. I can't remember, but it was fairly uneventful until we found more wolves. We found a pack of three very, very malnourished looking wolves, very skinny, eating a ra eating like what probably was the remains of a rabbit. And they're like, ah, dogs, kill it. And we were like, oh God, meat. So we attacked the wolves and they freaking, it was, it was horrible. Thank God that they were slightly nerfed because goblins are really weak. Uh, one of them ran away. We managed to kill the other two. And then the badger, a badger came out mid fight to freaking, to freaking <laughs> one on one one of the wolves because it was too close to its nest. So we killed that too. <laughs> um, at first we were carving all the meat, but oh, actually wait, the wolves are actually quite sick. The meat does not look good, so we did not carve the wolf meat, but we did carve the small bear meat. And Norik saw yeah. movement in the nest, and at first he tried to play it off, um, because he didn't, he knew, he was worried that the goblins would like, you know, kill the babies. So I thought maybe the babies could survive on their own, but his curiosity got better of him, so he reached his hand in and oh no they're like a week old they cannot survive on their own and then Aww. that's when the freaking 30 diplomacy check came in to convince the goblins <laughs> to race the small bears <laughs> <laughs> and then after that that was basically it we got our we got our meat we got our stuff we did not chase the third wolf because we didn't think it was worth it especially if it was sick like the other ones uh, and then we just headed off. There wasn't really much happening except for, um, uh, frick. I forgot the name. The name of that one goblin that kept, he kept boasting the entire time about how great of a hunter he is and look at all this meat we got. And then the goblins got into a little scuffle about, about boss, well, always, boss always has, um, has meat. And stuff like that. And then, uh, one of them, Rux, Ruxor, just kind of left at the end, um, to join the boss. And then, yeah. I came back to the cave. Uh, it was kind of awkward. Everyone kind of split off. We put the meat, we put the meat away. Split off. Um, Nork talked to what's her name? Stixarka. Stixarka. Stixarta. Yeah. Stixarta. He talked. I'll to put her in chat for a little bit. Um, just kind of like, you know, are you doing okay? Because like she seemed really angry. She was kind of she was really pissed off at the um that one boasting goblin. Ballard. Yeah. Yeah, Ballard. And then so Nork was like, oh yeah, you know, and was, he started asking about this boss man to get a gauge on him, but like he like just came and Nork was like, that's really suspicious, but I don't know enough about him. And then Nork was like, by the way, where's Esther? And um, oh my God, what's my brain today? Where is Esther? Regma. And no, not Regma. Um, oh yes, Regma. Oh, it's Gorkovesh. Gorkovesh. Oh my gosh, I'm so slow. But yeah, he's like, where's. And she was like, oh, they went down that tunnel. And I was like, where's that tunnel go? And I was like, oh, that's the, um, the boss man's, like, tunnel thingy area. And I was like, okay, cool. Sat there for a bit. His, his, <coughs> the hogs in his head turning, and he was like, you take care of baby animals, right? Because <laughs> he had the three badgers in, like, a blanket cocoon in his hands. <laughs> and she was like, "Yeah, we take care of the we take care of the baby doblins." And she was, and Nork was like, "Cool, take care of these. I'm gonna go find Esther. Bye." <laughs> and then everyone turned on me in chat and said I was abandoning the babies, but I was putting them in a better position. Nork was just nervous and didn't know how to put that properly. Yeah, <laughs> and. I mean, that sounded responsible to me. Yeah, and then Sonort went down the cave, and then he saw um, Gorkovesh talking to like the guard goblins, asking for name and stuff. <laughs> and then Nork was like, "Hey," and I was like, "Oh, Master Nork, hey." And then, and then that, that's kind of where actually no wait, yeah, yeah there was a little bit yeah. more before I reconnected with you. Um, Nork asked what so... happened and what happened to Esther, and Gorkovesh kept saying that she can't remember. Um, yeah. I so don't remember why she was here, and then the place started flooding. Let's let's cut in real quick yeah. and remember what happened to Esther. Yes. Up until she turned into a spider. God, that was a long, <laughs> that was a long explanation. No, no, Sorry. no, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, no, it's good. 
It's it fresh in my memory, so I can remember things. So, Esther um, had a long discussion with Gurkovesh about um, uh, being sort of fellow involved to a higher power. Um, Game Dragon. Yes. And um, trying to figure out where the language barrier and where uh, actual um, separate terms were. Um, <clears throat> she talked with Gurkovesh about who the boss man was and what uh, was happening. And basically, the hobgoblin um, showed up one day after disappearing for a while saying that um, he had a brilliant idea for making uh, the goblins living situation better again um, just... one correction he was never there this was the first time he showed up well no she uh, Gurkavesh talked about how he showed up one day yeah um and that she didn't trust his, uh, she didn't trust his methods, even though they'd had dealings before. No, they had. Stuff. They had not had dealings before. No, and okay. that's why she didn't trust him. Okay. <laughs> um, but as um, as time went on, the conditions in the village were getting worse and worse. Um, and they were getting sick. But the goblins who left to follow the big boss were not, and they were told that they were getting meat, too. Um, which... Yeah, sounds about right, and for, like, someone attempting to, uh, cause, like, a power struggle. So... Esther um, asked, like, what were they doing? And she was like, yeah, um, they were being told to dig. And so um, the um, and so then she uh, Esther asked where Nert and Nart went, and Gurkavesh said that they went to um, the Hobgoblin. So she was like, would you please uh, tell my boys to come home, basically. And Esther was like, okay. Um, then, so then she left she saw the um, the new the new emblem with the the red oval with a crudely drawn black bird on it, probably a crow. Um, it's me, mother. Look, they drew me. Yeah. <laughs> um. There was a doblin a doblin rider who was like. Who are you? Why are you coming? And Esther was like, I am here to see Nert and Nart. And then, and eventually he let her pass. Um, and then she saw um, literal children goblins uh, pushing carts to and fro full of rocks. And I mean, she, one of them was led by a doblin. One, one was led by a doblin. But it was still a cart full of rocks. And these weren't just, like, small pebbles, right? Like, these kids were doing work. Even though they were gamifying it with, like, a race.
Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure it was right. Um... She, um... Then sort of let them do what they wanted. Uh, looked over the area and uh, climbed up to get a better look. Saw a ledge. Um, had an, a very not fun interaction with the with the a mushroom. So she. <laughs> I still love the mushrooms. She will eat them all. No! She, um... You can't just eat people, Esther. When the fuck did you get here, Lime? I teleported like, in. Like, ten just... minutes ago? He, yeah. He oh, you it. probably came in when I was AFK. Okay, anyway, sorry. Yeah, um, so... She... Got the... Four puff. Uh... Even though she tried to jar it, expecting the spore puff. Failed. Whatever. Um, and then the little child seemed like really insistent that she meet the big boss. Uh, so she decided to go... She decided to follow him. Um, got to the main camp where she saw Nert and Nart. Help, helped Nart... Uh, eat something uh, or helped Nart actually cook something decently instead of burning it, although he still kind of burnt himself. Um, it's okay, it wasn't on fire. Hey, yeah. that's, that's me in the kitchen. <laughs> um, then uh he stepped out and was like, Hello. Could I perhaps interest you in some oil? And Esther was like, Why are you working children? And he was like, Don't worry about it. So she's like, Okay. And then she left. Amazing. Uh, I mean, he, he said everyone works but yeah mm. she uh continued on um help the kid bolds not kid bolds kid blins uh <laughs> fix a cart saw more mushrooms decided this was not a safe workplace so she killed a few Oh my god! She didn't know they were myconids. Wait, what? You killed people? She killed mushroom. You killed from people. afar with crunchy spit. Oh, you, you know, It was great because I could actually see the crunchy. Sp there was a moment where I could see the crunchy spit. I was like, oh god, what is she doing? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, um. One way to make mushrooms do. Mm. Um, at this point she started to see little water droplets um, so she was trying to figure out if he was like opening up other like closed cave systems or if he was like if, if he was basically barging into native habitats um Walked around, sort of listened in on com conversations, killed a few more mushrooms, um, then headed, then the big boss, well, some goblins came running uh, to the main tent. They got big boss and he rushed over to do something. She was like, well... That means I have a little bit of an opportunity to snoop around on the right side um, without seeing him. 
So she did. She met a goblin who, whose cart, uh, well, first she listened to two goblins arguing about who took the other's meat. It didn't exactly have a solution that was particularly obvious, and they didn't seem inclined on sharing with each other. So she just let them continue. Um, there was something on the other, on like the right side of the wall, but I forget. Um, whatever it was, it was probably just another goblin minding their own business. Um, the, and then she helped the goblin who had the rock pile on the walkway. So she got, uh, she burned away the rock, some of the, most of the rock pile, I think, with an acid vial. Some of it, yeah, because acid's not made to dissolve rocks. Uh, That's what mineral acids for. Oh, right. Um, he asked if she had more. She kind of hesitated, and then said, "This is for emergencies," and gave and gave it to him. So she's down to one more vial. Um. And then she proceeded. Uh, the goblins working there were like, uh, what the fuck are you doing here? And she was like, what the fuck are you doing here? And then one of them poked a hole in the wall and they were like, uh oh, rot row, rot row. And they got the boss to call over. And um, he made the hole worse. <laughs> and so she was like, what the fuck are you doing here? And then she turned into a spider and tried to eat him. So, yeah. And so Esther was fighting Big Boss and making his life miserable. Good. And getting him stuck in webs and everything like that. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> Norik is playing Noah's Ark. Yeah. Hmm. Like, I came in and was like, I was like talking with um uh, Gr Grokovesh for a bit and she was like very like confused and no more like can't remember shit which is weird but I got extremely sidetracked by goblins running away going ah my god it's flooding ah Norik was like I was like stay here Grokovesh uh, I'll go check she's like, ah, I'm gonna help too and Norik's like please please um so he ran up and it was like holy shit that's a lot of water and and it was like holy Where shit what the hell is the that flooding? He saw, he saw freaking mushroom people and said, what the hell is that? Is that normal, Grokovesh? And she was like, I've never seen that before. Um, but he trudged through the water trying to find the source of the water. And where, found, where was the flooding? Um, on the other well, side. We'll we'll on the other there. side of the... Um, the opposite side. It was the left path of the tunnel. Yeah, don't, don't, don't worry, okay. don't worry. Twig will get there. Yeah, but... Norik was trying to find the source, but he sees a bunch of like mushroom people like freaking freaking out. And he doesn't know what to do. So he, he kind of he climbs up, failing the first time he met, he climbs up a like flooded like waterfall freaking ramp now to find like a twenty foot hole in the wall that the water is just pouring out of. Um, and Norik was like, "That is a twenty foot hole. I cannot do anything about that. Everyone has to run." So, Q, epic rescue mission. He sees the mushroom people, like, all huddled and scared in a corner. So, he tries to... Um, he wants to try to, like, pick them up or something. And then they spore him. And the first time he mm -hmm. makes the will save. The second time he doesn't, then he can understand. He can suddenly mm -hmm. hear their voices. Um, Norg, at first, attempts to pick them all up. But it was a case of, why can't I hold all these mushroom people? 
And then the mushroom people were like, <laughs> why don't you just pick us up? Uh, why don't you just pick us up and put us over that ledge over there? And Norka's like, oh, that's a good idea. So, <laughs> just put them over the ledge. Because I, uh, oh, yeah. I wasn't sure how tall that ledge was. Anyway, um, so that I happened. I got the then... other part hmm? with the mushroom people. Yeah. Well, with the myconids. Um, <laughs> Please tell me yeah. more, friends. So, um, on the on the right side, Esther's left of the cave where everything went wrong. There were a bunch of myconids. Um, so she decided to attack one of them. Again, just pew, 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 get rid of more dangerous mushrooms in this mine because someone has to be OSHA compliant in this fucking cave. Um, <laughs> They all poof, um, and then they all grew. They all popped up out of the ground, the little legs, and they um, started to run. And then um, a bunch, a bunch of myconids from an upper ledge popped up and fell onto Esther, poofing. So she had to make 13 saves in one round. <laughs> 13! Amazing. Yeah. Did she actually roll like, 13 um, separate dice? Yeah. Oh my god. So, I mean, like, throughout this, like, there was an occasional attempt to make me do another save again. And I kept succeeding against the communicate spores so like at some point Bregma was like um they just want to run or some or something like that she's like well she's like can we just let the talking mushrooms run yeah and Esther was like what the fuck are you talking about how high are you <laughs> but not really she takes Esther or she takes Bregma seriously Especially if it's Vregma talking about them talking. Um, Vregma, the understander of all languages. Sorry, I fucked my app up. I scrolled up to look, and um, like there was a point where Esther made twenty-four consecutive willpower saves. Probably. Yeah, I mean, I started like counting, and part. then and then it started blurring together. So I was like, whatever, just yeah. pick what you need. In the end, she did manage to catch one in her hat. So I um, <laughs> Yeah. She she caught one in it in the hat, uh, got a jar lid, slid it up so that it um, stayed in like the corner edge of her hat. Yeah, and then and then the big boss came in and she turned into a spider and tried to eat him. Yeah, that'd be about where I came in as well, because Nora got the mushroom people off of, like off that area to safety, and they were like, mm -hmm. like our friends, can you help our friends? And Nora was like, where's your friends? Show me. And then they said, that way, that way. So Nora went that way, um, after being a bit confused by directions, because they don't have arms to point with. Um, <laughs> and he saw... Like, well, also part of it was that um, like Twig was confused, because I, was I didn't realize confused. that Nora's vision was not yeah. correct. I so he know. couldn't see Dude, as far as he is... should have been able to. Dude, I did not realize this goblin mm. cave was this bright. I thought it was this dark. Like, it's been like this since at least um my solo session. I always thought it was just this dark. <laughs> I thought it was normal. Um, Hella dark vision club, rise up. <laughs> so, yeah, so Nork went there and he saw like Fuck a bunch yeah. of goblins, like, you know, like, crowded around like the bridge, like, looking. And Nork's like, what's going on? Mm -hmm. And he looks. Oh, no, he first he tells them. Say so guys, you, you gotta run. Um, there's freaking, there's a, the freaking place is flooding. And then they're like, mm -hmm. they're, it was like a mixture of, oh, Master Norik, and also like, um, no, our boss is in trouble. Boss is being attacked, and also, where do we go and stuff like that. So Norik tells everyone, just let's go to the tree fang camp or just get out, depending on how deep this water, this flood goes. And Norik's mm -hmm. like, I'll, I'll help your boss. Um, because <laughs> again, he has no context for this guy besides he's slightly suspicious. Mm-hmm. 
Because he did not see- like, he saw some children pulling a cart for a second, but it was like an empty cart, so Nork didn't think anything about it. Mm-hmm. Then Nork got across the thing, he saw Vregma clash, um, hub, um, sh um, huddling with the mushrooms, and thankfully, Vregma told Nork that Esther turned into a spider! <laughs> Because mm. things would have gone a little bit differently otherwise. And Nork's just like, oh my god, what? So Nork spends like, yeah, and then you were there. Nork tells tells Bregman the Russian people to just run and that he'll try to get Esther and mm -hmm. stuff out. And then, yeah, and then you were there. Um, yeah. It became a so whole situation of Nork trying to tell Esther mm -hmm. and Big Boss to just cut it out, just take it outside. And Esther, Esther's well, literally deaf. <laughs> Don't forget the part where Norik walked closer to the void oh. in the wall. Oh yeah, he did. That was that was later because he walked closer to the void because he wanted to pick up the rod just in case. It wanted because he he looked he he took, he took the connection that wand is probably connected to the void. It might have been important, probably. so he took the yeah. rod. And thankfully, he made his <laughs> first saving throw. He didn't make the second one, but thankfully the webs weren't on fire, so he didn't get stuck. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah. Was, I didn't know you're literally deaf. I mean, it was a spider. Spider is no here. Is that actually in the spider stack? So. We will figure that out another time. <laughs> um... uh, they are not deaf, although they do not hear with people with ear ears the way people do. They hear by sensing vibrations in the air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have tremor sense. It's all over their bodies. Yeah. So as long as they can feel, they can hear. Okay. You know, as long as they're not bald. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Um, yeah. At some point during the spider fight, Esther took the hat off of her head and pulled the jar away so that the myconid would drop onto his head and poof him. <laughs> it apparently worked. Thankfully, she made the same. It throw. did. <laughs> it like well, made them super like Esther chill. was fine. The hobgoblin and the regular goblin that were tangled in the web both failed the saves and became pacified. I was expecting them to be feared. Oh well, I wanted them to run right into the void. Yeah, Esther, nope, remember. <laughs> the, the, the first ones they would do would. Be, uh, that one actually used its fierce spores already that day, is why. Oh. I tried its best. Yeah, anyway. If you remember, um, Steven said it was like spell slots, kind of. Like with the Myconid spores. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so then what happened after that? Because that was the part. Or um, I had to leave. Yeah. Well, Esther GTFO'd, basically. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, no. She G she GTFO'd. She put down one more lot of webbing on the Hobgoblin, and then GTFO'd. Mm -hmm. Which also made Nork a little bit stuck, but whatever. Um, so then after that, it was this whole process of Nork and the Hobgoblin trying to get... Uh, Nork got stuck in the web. He wanted to free the Goblin, so he went into the web and immediately rolled like a nat one. Um, the yeah. Hobgoblin helped Nork out, and then he went into the web, uh, Nork. It became this whole process of trying to get the Goblin out. Nork started burning the web, mm -hmm. um, he used um, a spell slot to let the Hobgoblin re-roll, getting stuck, which helped. Mm -hmm. um, and then we managed to get everything out, we all ran the hell away. Um, Nork made sure that the Goblins and the Hobgoblin were across the bridge and he followed behind. And then we came to the ca we came back, we regroup at the Three Fang camp at which St um, Stixarta immediately started um, freaking chewing the hobgoblin out. Norik failed his intelligence check to recognize him. Um, <laughs> yes, but now the party recognizes him. Sala yeah. attempted to spit spit web. She succeeded at spitting web at web at him. Yes. Then she turned into. A kobold again, and she asked him what the hell he unleashed down there. And, then and that is ended. where we pick up. And then it became a whole thing of everyone trying to remind me what where the hobgoblin was from, which I still <laughs> can't remember. 
The hobgoblin. Knock, knock! Knock, knock! Webbed to um, the crate behind him. Um, sort of looks at Esther. Mm -hmm. And looks over at Gurkovish. And then looks over at Stixarta. Stixarta sort of, is glaring at him. And she Give sort of like brandishes her. Seconds. Knock, knock, it's on the hearth again somehow. <laughs> Stixarta also brandishes her weapon a little bit. Stixarta looks like she's ready to, like, stick this guy. <laughs> like, she is livid. If Esther doesn't, I will. <laughs> Norik's like, so... What? What's going on? Like, I'm kind of not in the loop here? I'll admit, I'm a little confused, too. We... What? The, the flooding? And... What happened? Norik's like, the flooding, I think they dug too deep into a closed cave system or some kind of river or something, I don't know, but... Kirkerfesh is like, she looks over past Norik. At the river behind her. <laughs> well, like, okay. You know, I'm, I'm trying to think of the right words. I don't know what No, no, right it's, it's okay. They, they prop... They likely hit... The, um... They likely hit where this river continues underground. Why were you digging there? The same place... Okay. That Master Norik had to free, um, like free uh, the tr our people who had been captured by those uh, gnomes. I think they were I of a captured, captured. Yes, they were captured. So, what is your plan? Why are you here? Why? Have you tried to tear apart my tribe? Give me good reason me no stab you right now. And me. Dumb horse face. Yes. Stixarta, please. We must find out as much as we can from him. Fine. Me no Not stab yet. No stab. Yet. <laughs> Stixarda, like, steps back a little bit. By the way, it's, like, fucking, like, chaotic. Like, there's some mm -hmm. goblins who are sort of looking in, but, like, there are a bunch of, like, like, all the, like, you know, there are young goblins crying, and uh, the dogs are all trying to get up on that ledge for whatever reason. Oh, no. Uh, and there's some goblins, like, trying to get them off, and it's kind of noisy. Um, Norik's, like, kind of torn between wanting to go and help the chaos, and also wanting to see, understand what's going on here. It's okay, you know, calming songs. Oh, actually, hang on. Let me check. I don't have any calming songs, but I'm checking if I'd used charge on this item. Oh no, I already used it. Damn it. Mm -hmm. I had calm emotions on one of my charm bracelets, but I already used that one. Mm -hmm. Alright, anyways. I hope that one is silent. What have you been feeding them? She pulls out the suspicious bones. <laughs> like, what? Feed? We meat! What meat? All meat! What? What meat you mean? What kind of bones do this look like? Bird meat? Rabbit meat? Uh, she threw out like a weird wing bone with like extra claws or something. Meat from their traps. Oh. Hmm. What do you mean? Our traps. Norik's like, wait, that's why that's why those traps were so clean. We were 
Those were the traps that the goblins were setting up, but the meat kept disappearing. You steal so our meat? Mm. Not steal your meat. Others get meat. Esther is ready to kill this man. Stick Sarda is also ready to kill this man. <laughs> You've been taking the meat from the trap, from the traps these got, um, the, the Three Fang tribe set, so that they couldn't catch things, and then they would think that you had- What would happen when the th Three Fang tribe ran out of meat? Where are you gonna get your resource from? They don't run out of meat. They come to me for meat. When they have none. No choice. Norwich just like question mark, question mark, question mark. I tried. I tried to start digging. Stop wasting time. Dig for what? Not no. Just told to dig. From who? From whom? From dark. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, how do I say it? From Dark Rope Man. He. Find me in woods. You know, they say something I... about not trusting strangers. Find me in woods. I sick. He. Make me not sick. Tell me. He can. He can. Help me. If I help him. Only need dig. Find big tunnel. So you you see other people sick. You decide to exploit them as well. Not sick work for me. Only what sick staying mean? here. What do you do to prevent them from getting sick? Nort fishes into his bag. He gets out that rod he took out and he's like, and what the heck is this? What were you costing? That weird... Ugh. He kind of shivers. You have! Me. Give back! Give Rod back! No! Absolutely not. Rod mine! Why no. no. My reward. Shut, Shut mouth. <laughs> Shut mouth. Norx like yeah. Norx like whatever you were doing with this, like that shit ain't safe. It's okay. Broden and Trent aren't here. He can swear. Um Dark Dark Rogue, <laughs> tell me. Keep Keep Rod close. Or, Rod, Rod, give me what I want. Did it? You seemed confused when you last used it. Whatever that void Not thing expect. was, you seemed just as scared of it as I was. Not no. Oh, sick. Should I change role configuration to public roles for everything? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, since we're all together now, you can do that. Yeah, if, if it wasn't set okay, to GM, you would have seen Norik rolling like 5,000 nature checks and perception checks. And you would have seen Esther rolling all the willpower checks. <laughs> oh mm -hmm. my god. That would have been yeah. a sight to behold. So, um, now that that's out of the way, what did he say to you seem confused? Uh, Norik said, you seem confused, and he said, uh, basically, I didn't, I don't know what that was, I didn't expect that. Yeah, uh, I think what happened, um, the exact, um, uh, Esther said, you seem confused, he said that I didn't expect that, and Norik was like, you seem just as scared what of the void What did you not thing, expect? The void thing as I was. You dig for nothing, you find something, you've succeeded. I've what Definitely managed did you to pull? find enough water. <laughs> Norik said. Told find other tunnel. Pulled. 
In case of what? What you mean? Dark robe man, say. Dig, find big tunnel. Both sides. Do you even know Connect. who that old, who that dark road man serves? Do Not you matter know why. Stronger than you. Stronger than all of us. <laughs> We're getting information out of him. You can't just kill him, Rodan. No, you, you can just kill him. <laughs> Stick Sarda will demonstrate if you allow it. No, we need information. Yes, um. Like, she... if not for Gurkavesh being there, he would be dead. Oh, if if not for Norik that and Gurkavesh. Why do this to our peaceful tribe? <laughs> Need help, dig. Goblin, good dig. Hobgoblin, good telling Goblin to dig. Me learn that. Esther is ready to blind and deafen this fool. Yeah, Me learn that North when young. Lean down towards Esther and whisper and whisper. Um, he's gonna tell Esther. Um, I don't know if it's necessary because I feel like he might be telling the truth. But she can't sense motive that her truth. Sense motive. Yes, may I sense motive? You can always roll sense motive. They, these goblins like, did what? not need to be told to do anything. Oh, wow. Norik, you get the feeling that this guy is actually kind of scared right now. Really scared, probably. Yeah. Nork and Stick like, Sarda is glaring at him still. You he's you, you don't think he's saying everything 100% like, like he's saying every single little detail? Like, he's probably leaving a few things out. You know, like, that sort of thing. Like, you know... Like, the f a few minor details out, but, like, it, you think he's telling the truth about the big picture. And yeah. what happens if you fail your... master? Mm. Rod, go away. Me lose. Everything. Nork still got the rod in his hands. Well, what do you him. have... What do you have to lose? You have no love in this village. You earned it. Falsely. Hang on, don't mind me. I'm just checking the description. Do you have love for other go for goblins? You wrong. I take care of goblin. They better with me. Even digging. What did you do to stop them from getting sick? I have heard nothing. Not no! Goblin around me! Goblin not get sick! Sick goblin, get better! Goblin Can here! I... Stay sick! Can I detect magic to see if there are any spells on him? Yeah! I detect- I detect. I, I put on my- I put on my Ungrin for Nor flash detect. Eyes. I cast detect magic! <laughs> There's like heavy reverb, heavy like corruption. I te I detect magic. Detect. Anyways, um, you detect magic. Um, Norik used to detect magic have... a lot, but then Ungren came around. Ungren became the detect magic bot. Look, you guys can both detect magic. We can, but because you, it's a useful spell. It is useful. One person can only look in one direction. True. Anyway, doesn't prepare it because other people always have it prepared. That's Spontaneous Castro, though. Yeah, so they can just... yeah. Anyways, um... He... Does he not lying? have... Uh, one sec. He does not have magic on him. You get magic from inside this tent over here. You get magic from Gurkavesh. You get magic from Esther. I'm guessing I get magic from the you get wand. Magic from the black rod. 
rod. Right, yeah. Lorik's like, he kind of like tilts his head. He leans down towards Esther. He says that I don't detect any spells that are cast on him. At least, um, Esther, he, again, like it. You know he's not telling you. Like he's not being a hundred percent honest about every single thing, but like mm -hmm. it's like you're angry at him, and it's like he ha still hasn't given you motives or stuff like that. And but it seems like there are some things he genuinely doesn't know. Like he was told to do something and not given all the details himself. I'm mm -hmm. a charm person, charm, which I've but been trying to use. She's trying to see if he knows why um, goblins around him don't get sick. Mm-hmm. I have a charm person charm, but I don't think I can... I've been trying to use because it's got a really low save DC, but I don't think it'll work. I mean, it can always work. Because it says, if a creature is currently being threatened or attacked by you or your allies, it receives a plus five bonus on the saving throw. It's being threatened a lot right now, so... Well, I... <laughs> just don't threaten it, easy! <laughs> Stixardo is not going to stop threatening him. Exactly. Explain, yeah. explain the sickness. Because I, she, you Esther see asked, sickness. Esther asked about the sickness before with the goblins and didn't get much. You, you see sickness. Look around. Use eyes. I look around. Same as same sickness every year. Every. Gregorfish says, "Well, mostly, yes." I, I do believe I said something about that earlier, but I might have forgotten. <laughs> Shit, I'll go on the husnesses. You know, listen, me was sick too. Or I was sick too. <laughs> what did he do to you? Not no. Cast spell. Feel better. Some kind of remove disease and sickness spell. Who knows? I mean, it would be the um, most common way for a common if it was a if it's a common thing. Me not know magic. Yeah, Norris more saying that towards um Esther. Yeah, no, I know. He uh, he's just saying that. Yeah. You know nothing of what you tap into. You use others for your own gain. All use others for all for own gain. Shut mouth, stupid bug brain. No is life. Fool to think otherwise. Nork is sad. <laughs> Nork's like, it, well, I mean, it doesn't have to be that way. There's a lot more to be gained from um, mutual trust and respect. Me no respect him. You, you lie. That way, weak. Only lose like that. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm I'm oh my God! What would freaking Norik say? Norik just like. Well, Norik said he doesn't like it when people say that. You know. You were not so strong in that cave back there. You lucky. Not expect. Mm. Biter. Mm. <laughs> Is Esther like actually like doing that? Like, uh. she. No. Um. By the way, there are, there are some goblins like on other sides, sort of keeping all the others back. Yeah. Just okay. yeah. The peanut gallery is up here. The peanut gallery. I love that term so much. Mm hmm. Anyways. You think not of the future. You think not of... No future seeds. if dead at present. Thinking now. Only way survive.
thinking I now. have nothing more to say. Oh, gosh. Norik's like, thinking now, the only, um, there's an account We can kill him now, Norik. Correct? Norik's like, wait, he preparing wait. Spells. Okay, hang on, what's up, Norik? Norik's just, no, Norik's sweating. <laughs> That's all. He's what? Sweating. Okay. Um, wait, please. I think, I do not Ooh. want to get Gurkavet. Or this one. Gurkavesh, please let me stab this this vegetable. Vegetable? There's a few gasps. <gasps> and she's just not... I would not go that far, but I think rather you will go you will leave your rod here. Like you will go and be alone. And if we ever see you in these woods, me kill you myself. I will meet again, Exarta, and I will also kill you. Norik's kind of like. <laughs> Norik's like ears are once again flag against, flag against his head. He's kind of like. Well, if you're thinking of the long term... Esther, Esther respect Gurkavesh enough. It's, it's funny, because Nora's going to be saying, like, I don't know, she, like, so... I feel I have a bad feeling that this rogue guy will just take him back and just make him cause more trouble. Hmm. Imagine I... Nork advocating for death. It seems like even this one was played as fool. You, me no fool! You all fools! You do not even know what you did. You, you don't did know that. either! Shut you your mouth, meathead! You- No, you! Brain! You, you destroy a village. You not destroy a village a still here! You unleash a darkness into this cave. For... Getting better. A little sickness that comes Keep around every year. Having tribe. You have no tribe here. Not now, because of you. You have no love here. You You're never wrong. had love for them either. You wrong. Prove it. How prove? No way to prove. It'll work for them. You 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 give. Uh, what's the what's the word like? Like, oh, y you give impossible quest. Absolutely not. Work. What if you work together with the Three Fang tribe rather than have them work under you? No. Me no work with him. Me no work with you! Get him out. I don't think this is going to happen. If not for Gurkavesh, me stab you many time. Yes, yes, Strixarta. <laughs> Please have calm. S Strixarta is a bit grumpy, but <laughs> like she's restraining herself for Gurkavesh. Um. Since what's it still... for when he says, yeah. Me do thing not always good, but no choice. Well, you always had a choice. We could, no. We could give you a choice. It doesn't have to be Make, like this. Making that choice. Leave me alone. Norik's no tears. Try. Long and hard at Norik. Norik's like, oh god, she's giving me the look. Yes, and he said ma making that choice leaves me no tribe. Yeah. Oh god, that's just giving me the look. You deserve no tribe. You know nothing to say that. Our fool, looking small. Looking small. Oh my god, I can't believe I can't remember this dude. I... I'm not... I think... I'm not sure. 
Master Narik? Uh, yes? What makes you think there is any chance Norik's of like... working together? Norik's just like, well, I feel like, you know, there's a little bit of good in everyone, you know? Like, if you give well, them a chance, then maybe they can, you know, get... You know, How many chances did he have? Norcon looks at him. He's like, I don't know. <laughs> this mud sucker caused many problem. Not cause problem. Problem already there. You blame me. Because easy. Always easy blame me. Then explain. Explain what? Everything. Everything what? You want story of life? I mean, yeah, that's not a bad idea. If we know who you are, then we can know how to help you. You know, listen! Oh god. Future not matter, past not matter, now matter. I mean- Why- why matter me before? I am me now. It is your history. Well, events in the past can um, affect how you feel and how you think, and also um, traumas can... <laughs> traumas can, uh, you know, have a big effect if um, they're not talked about. No, give me diplomacy. Oh no, I'm a bard! Just as a note, like, Stixarda is like... Herkavesh, what is trauma? I'm a bard. <laughs> ah. Trauma oh, is... I'm still a bard. How to put it? Ah. Uh, Listen, Rona, no one is... can only have one kill person thought a day. It's pop it that is pop. the feeling of loneliness and fear after something terrible happens. <laughs> so I'm gonna find that song that I was thinking about when I was trying to say that little bit. <laughs> Yep. Oh, so like, much trauma. <laughs> like, you wrong. No one good. Everyone look out for self. Again, I'm gonna <laughs> repost Norik's train. <laughs> <laughs> me done talking. You no listen, me no talk. While he's webbed, Esther casts blindness, deafness on him. Oh my god! It's a silence spell. But the DC is 17. Okay. Uh... What you try do, and Griffith is just like, I, please, we. It was a silent bell. She gets one of those a day. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Does it still have like verbal or somatic or no nothing? Or not verbal. Repeat. It's not still. It's a thing. Because it would still be like hand gestures and shit. If it's yeah. Uh... Maybe. I don't know how it works. What? Well, let's- let's take a look at it. it unless, if it says- Does it have it? That's one really fun thing about witch hexes, is that witch oh, hexes are- Oh, it's purely verbal. Oh! So okay. it's silent, then- Wow. Esther just it's... stares at him really hard. And that's yeah. actually a really cool thing about witch hexes, is that they- most of them have no components at all. And they're also supernatural. What? <laughs> yeah. What you do?! I- I think... talk is over... Esther? Mm. When we are ready, if you could release 
those webs. We will make sure he leaves and does not come back. Okay. She will cut him loose. I'll sort of stagger forward a little. A little. No try anything funny Nora, or else Nora me stab you. Nora kind of steps back a little bit. She's a little bit cautious. He sort of looks at everyone through narrowed eyes. Stick sort of glares daggers at him. Nora starts putting the rod back in the, his bag and holds it very tightly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fool. You see someday. Oh, I uh, thought shut only- mouth, dog meat. I thought only the present mattered. Oh, got him! Okay, he's oh! gonna- Shots fired! Shots fired! Hang on, where's that- where's that gif? Yeah, hard. He sort of stops at the end and sort of- you see him, like, sort of back a little bit at the mushrooms and... Like, sort of edges around them before heading off. Nort leans down towards Esther again to whisper in her ear, and he's like, I wasn't... I, I was actually kind of serious about... Um, and she's gonna... Uh, Gurkavesh is gonna say, Stix Arta, please send two writers to make sure he leaves. Nora's like, do you think we should yes, go as Berkovesh. well to make sure? I think it would be safe. What would be safe? I think it would be safe if um if if, if we also went and made sure, because Norks after seeing the I... Goblin's combat capabilities, he is concerned. I have something I would like to give you as thanks first. Melody's not letting us kill him. Not letting us ambush I... him outside the cave. I... I didn't stop you guys from killing him. No, you didn't. I was hoping to kill him outside the cave. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> it's fine. Recurring, recurring NPC. Um. Don't worry, Husky. Eventually, Rodent can kill him. Yeah. And maybe Nora can recognize him next time. Okay, you were gonna have two things appear suddenly. Don't freak out. Look! I only saw see, a slight change. Goblin rider. You, you see two goblin riders get on their doblins and sort of uh, trot over and say, uh, Need move, get past. Right. I'll just move aside. So, and they'll single file across Hey, the Maladies, bridge. what's up with this grabby hands ghost? What the hell is that? That's a stalagmite. It's what? definitely a grabby hands ghost. <laughs> you, you see the pillar what? shadow? Yeah. It's a support, it's basically. It's a grabby hands okay. ghost. Okay. Just making sure it's not a grabby hands ghost. <laughs> I'm <No>. scared. <laughs> Grabby hands. Sigh. No. I'm looking at this like how what if I am tired after today. Could you please assist me? in my tent. Yes. Master Norik and Esther. Of course. You as well, Fragma. <laughs> is, why... oh, oh my gosh, is, is this why Norik was, was together with Esther? Because Norik is, Norik is the buzzkill that stops, that lets the NPC live so that manatees can bring it back. <laughs> Dude, Norik is like like, I get so frustrated at Nork because when I watch, like, shows and anime, it's like, Oh, we can't kill him! He let re redeem himself, then he always come back as a villain again. Like, that's really truly Nork. I'm so annoyed at Nork, but okay. But then why did you make a character like that? Because I do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
To be fair, Nork was a blank slate. He kind of evolved over time. He was very into the first. tent. He fell into the tent. And... Stixarda will stand guard outside. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Fragma, if you could grab the pack again, and Ragma will, yeah. uh, uh, sure, go pick up, like, look around and spot the pack and sort of pick it up and nervously walk over. And she's holding up to, it up too high at first, so, and Gurkovich is, like, trying to look in but can't. Mm -hmm. but, oh, oh, sorry! And she lowers it. Gurkovich does her very careful looking around. Shuffling everything very carefully. She has a she has a fake flower in there now. She's got to be extra careful. Mm -hmm. um, and she pulls out um, a band of roots. A tobo? Uh, basically imagine like a head wreath, but it's a bunch of ugly roots. And she says, uh... was once of use to me. It has fallen into misuse now. I believe I believe it will be helpful in your future travels should you have them. She'll sort of hold it out Um, Esther will pick them up. Uh-huh. Esther, you can be... No, actually, I... Yeah, no, change her. Esther, uh, it looks like this is made out of, like... Uh, it looks like it's made out of the Botobo. Hmm. Maybe not quite. It's... There's it's definitely a... something magic about it, but... It's a wreath? Uh, uh, like, a headband wreath sort of deal, yeah. Okay. Oh god. You can call it a bato- or, okay, yeah, here we go. Well, That's just a- has... Wow. Enough Since... for the loss of this land. It is a band of Gakur. Yes. It was passed to me by a wise shaman many years ago. The least I can do is continue this tradition. What do... Uh, you said that Esther can tell there's magic on it, right? Yeah, I'll just tell you what it does. So, your band of Gakur. Um, any spells um, involving plants or from the plant domain are casted at plus one caster level, and they have plus one to their DC. Ooh. And you can cast good berry one time per day, but Ooh, it's not nice. actually good berries. It's basically good berries. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Esther the is becoming tradition. more of a tree. The tradition is to pass this on when we are done. Nork's like, With done it. what? When the time is right. You will not need this? No. <gasps> I have not needed it for a long time. Things are simpler now. Simpler? That is a story for another time. Perhaps you will have to come visit. And she has a little bit of a smile at that. Understood. Yeah, I'll, I haven't. 
I'll try to visit more often as well. Mm -hmm. Oh god, I'm not getting the hint. Alright. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I'll um, touch up on, on Goblin so I can help speak of everyone without having to rely on a spell. Well, if you ever need assistance with the tribe dialect, let me know. Or perhaps young Nert and Nart could help you. Oh my gosh. As you seem to know them quite well already. Oh, babies. <laughs> Norik nods. Yeah, of, co of course. Otherwise. What will you do? What will you do now that the tunnel close by has been ruptured? Do you know what he unleashed? Oh, hey, Esther, give me a spellcraft. Ooh! Speaking of unleash, that's right, because Norik's recalling, because that hole with the water that water was coming out of, that was like perfectly round as well, wasn't it? I do not know what we will do, but, okay, Esther, you have a f funny, familiar feeling, one from that you only had, um, that you remember many years ago when you were in your old tribe. Hmm. A feeling of something beneath your feet. Something dark. Something growing. Eldritch horrors. Eldritch horrors. If you love them, you love Eldritch horrors too. <laughs> Do you remember that yeah. feeling? And you remember... How the tribes all had to leave because of it. The creeping darkness. Mm -hmm. You will need to evacuate. This is our home. We is evacuate in the goblin dialect? You will need to leave. No. <laughs> Dixarda asks Gorkavesh what evacuate means. It means leave. Quickly. What? We must leave because of that bug brain? She kind of like... Yes, I... If the flooding is in a lower tunnel downstream, it should be okay, should it not? Yeah, Nora's kind of getting the same thing. kind of looks at Esther a bit quizzically. She, she's like visibly, uh, like shaking. Well, Norik's going to. N Norik wants to like put his hand on like Esther's shoulder. He yeah, doesn't know why. Mobile, kind of. He doesn't know why he's why she's um, like scared. But you feel it too. Did that go through? Yeah. Okay. She... Um, Intraconic. Yeah. Um... Esther will say... <laughs> Esther, Esther will, will say... That creeping darkness took my first tribe. What darkness? Um, give me a sec. Norik's like... Yeah. The... I am confused. Yeah, Norik's like, kind of like, thinking, he's like, the, um, uh, the... Kind of, kind of thinks for the right word. The person that told us to help you guys did mention something about something bad happening 
and I feel like it would have been more than just a hobgoblin. Because the tree dude, the freaking freaking plant freaking god freaking tree dude was like, god dude was like, talking about, god, I didn't forget which I wrote it down, but <laughs> he said something about just something really bad happening where the tree fang live, so I feel like if it was quote unquote just like a flu and a hobgoblin, like I feel like it would have been a lot more for that kind of person to notice and want to help with. Yeah. Esther's like um the he in the other tunnel he opened the wall. That void? Or the water? The void. Right. <laughs> Nori <laughs> reaches back into his bag to get out the rod to look at it. Because he didn't actually properly look at it. Mm -hmm. Can I attempt a spellcraft on this to figure out Sure. My spellcraft really sucks, though. So, you still you still got that nice. detect magic. <laughs> Nor you're like, oh. Well, well, detect magic detects like the school of magic, which I've already determined is necromancy. Ish. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I don't know the actual what it actually does. I think spellcraft helps you actually figure it out. Yeah, spellcraft is what you use to identify if you don't have identify. Um. Yeah, Nork, it's a cool black metal. It's got sort of a weird, like greeny sheen to it. You've never seen any metal like that before. Hmm. Looks like, I don't know what it's... what it is. Some kind of necromancy <laughs> magic, but... I don't know exactly Do... what's stored. She holds out a shaking hand and says, Would you pass it here, then? Uh, yeah. Mr. Norik. Um, Norik passes it over. Alright. No, PJ, I am not casting the wand to find- As much as that would have been intensely fun for Norik to panic cast from the wand? No. She takes the rod and... Turns it over in her hands. Looks at it. And... Hmm. This... Rod... Has magic. But also does not have the magic it once did. It seems to have some sort of sustaining spell on it. Uh, she'll hold it out to Norik again. Yeah, Norik takes it back. Magic. It may be why those around that boss. At the mention of the boss, Dixardo like scowls again. <laughs> that Vegetable. boss. We're... And she like mutters under her breath, like, mm, no good. We're better off stab him. than us. Gurkavesh is gonna turn and give Zix stick. It's like she's gonna sort of look out and say, like, This is a private conversation, Stixarta. As much as I appreciate your enthusiasm. Me must make sure you safe. Me stay stand guard here. Of course. I don't know what we will do. But why is it you say we cannot stay? I was sent away. And told they would follow. Nobody followed. Nobody followed 
What? Fragma sort of seems to understand. She sort of tugs on Esther's, um, like sort of lightly, sort of taps Esther's shoulder and gives her a very sympathetic look as Esther turns around. Or like a sort of a look of like, oh shit, seriously? You know? Hmm. I did not know that shit. But yeah. Yeah. Esther's like it you know, I think that she actually cracks here. <gasps> yeah? Yeah. Like an egg? Like um Esther, are you all right? Um. Sure, wish I had that calm emotion charm. <laughs> she. Oh yes, let me let me very calmly lay out my childhood traumas. I will start at four. <laughs> God. But um. She. She just starts talking about how. Um, there was something growing underneath their village, and All the it villages. was causing hmm? All just... the yes. And um, Esther's tribe started to assemble like groups. Uh, to escape and to head to the service or at least to higher levels uh, in the cave system but uh, after so much time uh she never expected to see another. Like. Almost pleading for uh, the Three Thing tribe to choose to evacuate. So, oh, whatever got to drive probably got them all. Yeah. So, what you mean to say is that if we don't leave, then we shall suffer the same fate. I think she just nods. Nork like tries to comfort Esther, but he's not sure how. He <laughs> so again, he's kind of like puts a hand on her shoulder. Outside the hint tent, you hear someone yelling. yelling. Help! Come help! Help! Oh, oh they no. get Rick Kirk! Get Rat Kirk help! Wait, what? Nork scrambles out. Funny, funny long shank. Get, get Rat Kirk. Wait, fight, what? fight, boss! Oh my God! Freaking... What happened? He, 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 he try, try sneaky, try, try sneaky thing. Take time, go slow. Finally, get out, out of cave, and 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 long shank waiting for us outside cave. Long shank waiting. He, he, he. Re wreck her it, it, it with an arrow might be 
Esther has her hat oh God. Up es- um, over her eyes. Nor Nork's like, Nork's like, it's like, um, quickly, sh- sh- show me the way. <laughs> but what is Longshank? Uh, long shank, long shank, you, you long shank, long shank, long shank, not goblin. I'm actually doing this as we're running. Mm-hmm. Just someone tall. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, we follow, yeah. I guess. Yeah. All right. You guys follow as fast as you can. I will pull us to the cave entrance. Nork. Um, gets his bow pulled out in the meantime as well, of course. Get himself the F ready. All right. When you exit, <gasps> no, Doblin. Immediately, you see. A goblin, motionless on the ground. There's a goblin, um, covered in blood, um, just behind it. You see the boss. The big boss. Fighting with... Some sort of humanoid. Pink skin! The boss is... Oh. Yes. Um. Boss is... Big Boss is covered, um, so, uh, Big Boss is bloody, um, staggering, um, while the humanoid seems to have quite the advantage. I have a feeling this is the human adventuring party I was worried about. (laughs) This Um, is how we roll initiative. Is it initiative time? Hell yeah. Yes. Okay. okay, hang on. We're kind of in the same square right now. Uh. Yeah. Actually, Carto would not be here. Your, your goblins, kobolds, and gnolls. This is literally Adventuring Party 101. Yeah, I right? know. That, that, that's yeah. Why I said I was Twig so Twig was paranoid. talking about that. So paranoid. Whenever Norik and the goblins went into the forest earlier to check the traps. Well, like, last night. like I, I, I clicked on instantly. I was like, oh my god. Five goblins <laughs> and a knoll in a forest? <laughs> but like, coming out, like I see the, the, the goblin from Motionless. Um, like, is, does it have like an arrow in it or something? Well, we're gonna roll initiative. Oh boy. Initiative has been rolled. Multiple elves. The elves? Oops, put him on twice. Um, Esther, what'd you get? 13.03. Thank you. A spooky hand ghost. <laughs> I'm sure you guys will like to, bosses in the show. I didn't mean to scare everyone with spooky hand ghosts. I was just like, uh, that's, that's a thing? Okay. Okay. Um, okay. First things first. Nope, not this one. Cool. <laughs> All right, Norik. I. Uh, there's the fight. There's the goblin. You're not sure if it's alive. Yeah, Norik yells. Nor say, "What's going on?" Um, he's gonna run up to the goblin. The do- I'm not really sure what tile to go to. Um, this one. It's on this tile. Um, we'll put the goblin. The goblin's basically in this tile. Yeah. Uh, Norik wants to check on. So this guy's with you. To check on the two. Um, like, are they alive? Uh, he'll check. Heal. 
Uh, the goblin's still alive. But it's got an arrow in its back. Oh god. Um. You can see the goblin has, is not moving, and it has several arrows in it. So it's not a, uh, stabilized kind of thing. Mm hmm But you can stabilize the gobble. Which I will do. <laughs> I can't it's not a dog, it's a it's a doblin. Yeah. It's a, no, it's a rat oh god. Have I mean, you seen a picture of a doblin? Maladies, rats are tabletop dogs. So um So what are dogs? Dogs Dog squared. <laughs> okay. Um, can I so is the goblin like a zero HP kind of deal? Like, like should I stay? Like, can I stabilize him? Uh... Or is he like at a one HP kind of deal? I can't. He's unconscious. Or which one is this? Yeah, it's it's uncon. The goblin goblin is unconscious. She's unconscious. Uh... So you can, um, yeah, you can roll. I guess we can keep that heal check just to stabilize it. If you want, you can stabilize. Okay. Well, hey, getting used out of that one. Yeah, I want. I specifically right. want to use it because oh, shiny new character. Kind of but yeah, because I want to do this because I feel like, like out of character, like logic, is that. Mhm. Mm it's spell the goblin, faster. It's faster, but also if the goblin like got up, the human has arrows, might just shoot it and make it go down again. So stabilize, maybe he'll just stay mm -hmm. down and won't think anything of it. Mhm. Mm but yeah, I would do that. I'll cast stabilize. Um. And I believe that is my turn. Oh wait, you say nothing to the archer. Fascinating. I said what? Okay. Actually, I just realized this is a close range, not a touch range. That's amazing. So, in fact, Norik's going to do something slightly different. Oh, actually, no, he still needs to check on them, so he's going to cast stabilize anyway. But yeah, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, that's it. I was going to see he would have run a bit closer, but no already moved so okay sorry i'm done yep okay oh uh... nork did say like in comments like what's going on what is going on uh, should i just describe it uh yeah so you see this oh we'll make him a human uh yeah uh fairly tall uh about pj's size uh, but Everyone is about PJ size. Okay. <laughs> uh, but older, um, much older. Hmm. Uh, he's wearing ragged. It almost looks like leather, green, uh, sort of like hide armor. Mm -hmm. uh, he is kitted out like you've never seen, and he is. Well, we have seen Rodin. No. Okay. <laughs> He is disturbingly happy at what he is doing to the big boss currently. I knew it! Adventures! Human adventures! <laughs> Wait, but no, no, Nork did actually also say that out loud in common. You did? Yeah, because he wants oh, to know. Oh, an he, adventurer? Or? Like, towards the adventure and the hobgoblin in general. What's what's going on? Yeah. Okay. So Alright. He'll remark, he'll be like, oh! You're trying to speak civilized language, are you? <laughs> He'll return his attention to the big boss and... Oh! Alright, um... Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. I love how in every campaign ever, it's always the humans that are really snobby. Well, also elves sometimes, but... <laughs> oh, my hands are shaking. Hold on. Uh... <laughs> Passing essay grade for, <laughs> for Chinese being... <laughs> for English being my second language. Yeah. <laughs> because my last name is Chen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> What's the word? I'm trying to find it. There it is. God, that's 
like the funniest thing, but also kind of gives me an insight that, oh, that's actually what people generally uh, think. Stefan, what I recommend is take it, open it in notepad, um, and then have it to the size so you can tab in and out. That's actually an easier option. Yeah. I'm going to run to the Trying kitchen. to look at the stuff in a Discord message is kind of yeah. awful because you have to keep clicking around everything. Mm -hmm. Um, so... Alright. Now that I have that, short sword is... Oh! Um... So... Um, maladies? Mm hmm You don't have crit stats on this weapon? Uh, it's times two. Okay. Um, alright, so that's, uh... Gee, I wonder why you're asking about that one. <laughs> um, good lord. Yeah. By the way, did we ever like? Uh, so now figure out exactly where Norik's village was. Hmm? I'm just curious, like, how far away it is. Uh, it's a bit of a travel. It's at least a week. Okay, it's a long travel. I, I feel like I think at one point we kind of, like, marked on the map an approximate area where it might be. Yeah, the approximate map. There we go. I wasn't crazy. <clears throat> You're watching this, and it... it... You, some of you are probably, you're already shocked enough out of what you've happened, but I mean, almost like a surgical strike, just right in the hobgoblin's neck and out. Well, that's in the goblin. And hobgoblin's the going. boss collapses limp. Well, you got your wish, um, Husko. No, her wish was for Esther to kill him. Oh, Husko, Husko. They're all putting him in a square. Oh, um, yeah, Husky's not here. <laughs> With the sword still covered in the hobgoblin's blood, he 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 takes it and he points it at all of you, and he says, "What is your purpose here? I am Dustack Greenstalker." Dustack. Dustack. Uh, I want to stab him. I want to stab him. I didn't name him. <laughs> you are a blight on this land, and I intend. To rectify this. Okay, and that's his turn. Okay. It's the second common, by the way. Uh-huh. Alright. Easter. Easter says... I pay taxes <laughs> in the most human cheat. Mm. I pay taxes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus <Christ. laughs> I just went around PJ too much. <laughs> and she puts a ward on Nordic. Ooh. I like ward. I take it you're new around here? <laughs> we'll find out on his turn. Anything else, Esther? Um, she readies a spell in case he charges for Norik or her. Um... It'll be... Do you need me to specify which one? Huh? Do you need me to pick a spell bef for which one she readies, or no? Y you you ready a spell for what again? Um, if he if he goes after Norik or her, or... Yes, Ragnar I need you to pick Dublin. a specific spell. Okay. Um... Web Bolt. Okay. The spider is so strong in this one. Okay. It is... 
Oh, he's dead. Um. Uh, yeah. Uh, a goblin actually says, "What? What? What should we do? What do?" Then we'll. Um, Reagan's gonna. It's like I'll 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 go get help. Um. Okay. Nora's going to reply back to the human. Um. He's going to say, um, look, um, we, they, they, we just, they just live here. Um, we live off the land like anyone else. There's no reason for you to come and kill us. Um, we don't mean any harm. Just leave us alone, please. And... You want to roll diplomacy, I guess? If I'm that's all you're doing, you can roll a diplomacy. I'm a bard. Oh, it's goddamn. Uh -huh. I'm still a bard, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anything else, Doric? No, that's it. God damn it! as you roll a 10. Well, yeah, look. It's not a 19 like last time, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a 19, so I say damn it. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh... These things don't just live. They invade. They pester. I've tracked these goblins for hundreds of miles. I lost my mentor to these creatures. I if you I... stand in my way, you'll go down too. I love how you didn't notice the name became racist. I just changed it. <laughs> he will pull out a short bow. What is the... I don't know the weapon switching thing. How's that work? Um... One second. Er. Sword not drawn, right? Er, sword not. Sword is sword drawn. Is drawn. Okay, so it would just be right? a quick, yeah. quick action. Um, so you could look at the... draw and fire in the same turn, is what you're if, saying? If he drops. Okay. Yeah, he'll do that. Um, if he goes to attack, Esther web bolts him. He's going to attack. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, Nork in this race is gonna be like an immovable object. Or I can't believe he's gonna have something. an epic gamer moment in epic the woods game. here. <laughs> 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 so it's just a save, it's not an attack? Yes. Reflex yeah, you need save. a 15. Reflex. Reflex save. Is something wrong, Steven? Almost caught off guard. I had to look at his bonuses and stuff because he has a lot. Um, <laughs> hey, listen. Mm -hmm. I was going to say something, but I, I decided not to because it would be terrible. Um, <laughs> he almost gets caught off guard by it, but like as he's switching weapons, he sees you and he sort of like uses his sword to like cut it away from him. Mm -hmm. uh, he is not entangled. Okay. And he will now drop his sword and take aim. Uh, he loses an arrow and it lands directly in the goblin that you are standing next to, Nora. Oh my god! No! I just. And it 
it's gone. No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yep, there we go. He's got five foot step and move. Hell yeah. What? Yes, you can. You, we've had uh, this discussion a few times, but yes, you can. Five foot step does not count as a move. So, okay. Glitter dust. Go. Is this a house uh, rule? I'm, I'm checking no. something. No, I have. I've looked this up. This is the only reason I know this one. Oh, is that like a for real rule? Yes, okay. a five foot step is not does, is not your movement. It does not count as movement. So you can move, attack, and then take a five foot step, or five foot step, attack, move. Like no, I think no five foot but step. It move, five foot step. Um, it's it's um it's not a move action, but it means that you can't move anymore during that afterwards. Uh, I mean in Pathfinder, the, from when I read it. So I remember reading it. I remember reading it when I was looking up um, some witch stuff because you need to cackle as a move action. So I was looking up five foot step shit. Hang on, let me find it. Sorry, yeah, I'm we'll looking it, we can, it up now. You can move yeah, five we, feet. we can do this stuff later. Let's focus on combat, please. You can move five feet in any round when you don't perform any other kind of movement. Taking this five foot step, etc., etc. You can't take a five foot step in the same round that you move any distance. And that's like directly from just the plain old combat page that says that. Yeah, let's just carry on. Mm -hmm. He is glitter dusted. Will negates. Will negates the blindness or everything? Blindness. Blindness. Okay, so he is not blind. Okay. She says. He's still sparkling though. Yeah. You killed my only target, but if you continue... I will start trying. She also hexed him. Can you hex and cast in the same turn? Um, depends on the hex. Most hexes are standard yeah. action. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. She'll... She'll think really, really hard about hexing him next in five seconds. Mm -hmm. Um, real quick. So I remember what it was. You can use your move action and then five foot step still. Yeah, so that's like, where I was getting confused. Yeah, so like cackle. So if you, if you action, so cackle and five. But foot then and... you can still use five foot step movement. Yes. Yeah. Uh. Gee, I guess we're gonna be the little goblin that could. No! Don't do it, Gobble Boy. No! Hi. <laughs> Just steal his sword. Um. Yeah, we we are not thinking. Look, going in, we're going into this fight. We're not thinking that hard. Um, let's see. The goblin, um, the goblin swings its um spear, tries to jab at the goblin racist. <laughs> It's Doblin, uh, sort of, as it charges forward, tries to take a bite out of his leg. But he easily sidesteps both of them. Aha! Nork? Nork? See the arrow. Go to the goblin. And that he's dead. Nork is extremely upset he's spaghetti right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cast. My freaking DC is so shitty, dude. I'm gonna cast um Pagwampi's Grace on the racist. So what does that do? He needs to make a will saving throw. That's... What is the DC, DC for it? Uh, the DC can... is 15. Wait, so he needs to make a will saving throw for what? 
put Gompy's grace. Otherwise, he basically gets disadvantage on all his d20 rolls. That goes to defender, right? Yeah. Yeah. No! Yeah. I hate my freaking DC so much. Alright, that's my all right. turn. Goblin races turn. You'll have to try. You think this is me trying? He will back up five foot step here. And then he'll go for a straight up point blank shot. Okay. Uh it's minus four at close range. No. No, okay. Does he have? Okay. No, he just the um as the he minus fires. four is for firing into melee. Yes, he, like he, he, he has what he has in threat and range. He has what he needs. Um okay. I, I, I didn't want to have to look all that stuff up. Yes. Um is kind of annoying as he, sometimes. As he pulls back his bow, um Um Ziztok and the Doblin um each try to um take advantage of the opening, but he still is, just takes a quick step back, easily dodging them. Carry on. Ah, okay. Uh, he jumps back and dodges the hits and just lightning quick lets loose an arrow and it goes right in the shoulder of the goblin and just just starts bleeding terribly. He's not looking great. Oops. Yeah. And he's just laughing. All right, Esther. Hexter. I think we died to this guy. Esther doesn't. <laughs> Sorry, this bell thing is being really fucky right now. Um, yeah, I, um, he's right, he's right, right here. Here's the thing, please. She casts the witch hex evil eye. The DC is 16. Evil Eye. Minus two penalty on whatever Esther wants. It is a will save to reduce it to one round. Okay. And your DC is 16. Oh. That sounds like a not 16. Oh, no. Well, at the end, it's over 16. Yeah. What with the bonuses, so. Okay. Esther, you catch your, catch your hex, but... Okay. To me, rolling good is you should have tremors. <laughs> Esther, you catch your catch your hex, but it doesn't quite take hold. It seems like it's a little harder to hex to you know, see. Ugh. Yes, sorry. I'm um, going to... Which uh, thing do you pick for the hex to affect? Saves. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, right. Okay, is saving throws for one round? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it'll affect one round, and it says on one of the following, and it's the witch's choice. Mm-hmm. That's, that's why it's, um, okay. And she tells the, uh, Doblin to retreat in Goblin. Oh yeah, the Doblin's retreating, yeah. This talk just doesn't need to say twice. Uh, she whistles and the Doblin turns around, full sprints back this way. Go, go, Goblin, go! Norik's going to say, like, Look, I don't know what happened between the goblins and your mentor, but there, there must be, like, you know, people try- Oh god. Fuck! Hang on, we're playing's hard. <laughs> <laughs> but, they're just out here just trying to defend themselves and live, like, they're not bad people. And <sighs> he's gonna attempt to cast Pagwampi's Grace on him again. So that's another DC 15 will saving throw. Minus two on his. Minus, minus two. two on save. But I don't give a fuck. <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, what does Pagwampi's way to do? Um, you ever have to? To roll disadvantage on all rolls whenever you roll d20 whenever you roll d20s any d20s mm -hmm. you have you roll it twice okay. to take the lower result all right and this lasts for this lasts for yeah. five rounds that's cool. that's powerful okay but also my, my 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 save dc really sucks so it's really hard for it to get hold anyway i really need to boost my charisma um, All right. That's my turn. Anything else? No, that's it. Okay. <laughs> uh, he like scoffs at your remarks, and he's like, "You think this is some sort of vendetta? This is my personal task. I'm a stalker. It's what we do." And he draws to fire again. That's a wonderful happy bird. Thank you. Um, so yeah, he draws back his bow. Um, yeah, go go ahead, Stefan. Yeah, so he draws back his bow, following uh, Ziztok as he's going, and you see him kind of like hesitate for a second, but he shakes it off and lets loose the arrow. And it goes right into the back of Zistok's head. No! And he just flies off of the Doblin. <gasps> Disadvantage? Yep. I did roll it twice. Okay. Uh, just d20 rolls I have to re-roll, right? You don't roll a d20 for damage. I know, I was just asking. Oh, it's yeah. just d20. Yeah, yeah. You can just say it. It's okay. It's 11 damage. Okay. The arrow goes into the back of Zistok's um, skull. No! Zistok is flung from her Doblin. Um, the Doblin runs for a little bit and then sort of stops, skids, turns around, and goes back... Um, and sort of like tries to nose just talk up but there's just a puddle of blood getting bigger and bigger beneath her <laughs> melodies does not control the die yeah that's me you can you have to be <laughs> mad at me now i'm rolling yeah there you go esther it's not a dog it's a goblin is it dead dead 
No stabilize? I don't know, you'll have to find out. Ah! Zachy, I'm being bullied, help. <laughs> oh my god, Zach like wiggled his ears and just went back to sleep. Disadvantage, you still have minus two to saves. Actually, uh, never mind, not his, that one. He had his turn, is it till the end of your turn? No, like, Or the end of his turn? I mean, that would be kind of BS, right? Like, no, like if you get one round, it's basically only for that, and that was it. Unless you use cackle to extend it, that was it. That's okay. I was reading a so, lot into which hexes. But I still have disadvantage on the d20 roll. You do. Yeah. Okay, so wait, hang on. Twig, what I'm... deafness instead. Yeah, Twig. What I'm asking though is, um, is it like what? So would it be? Unless it says end of Esther's turn, it would be the end of his turn because it was cast on him. It lasts for what is this one round? Hex. So, which hex? oh yeah, you're right. So it would fail at the be at the beginning. It would be done. Yeah, unless it says one round. Yeah, it. it doesn't say end. All right, blindness, deafness. Uh, and then blind. Is, uh, what's save that fortitude? Okay. Uh, oh, that's good. Okay, uh... Where, where is it at? Oh. Yeah. Alright, he is not blind. Mm-hmm. Anything else, Esther? Alright. Perception check. By the way, Esther? Since it's still your turn. Alright, on the just barely, you, you can hear the sounds of echoing in the cave. Uh Hugh trying to check if if, if the goblin's alive. Thorn's <laughs> like, yeah, I'm gonna cast my spell, no, I'm gonna have to run. Okay. Uh, you can make it in. You can make it. Okay, uh, are you- Okay, from there, this goblin looks dead. Oh my god, okay. I'm going to cast Ear Piercing Scream. <laughs> DC 14 Norxing. Fortitude save with disadvantage. Didn't have disadvantage. Okay. Uh, and that one's that. You said the DC is uh, what? Fourteen. Okay. Uh, he reels from that. So, um, if he didn't make the save, he is dazed for one round, and he takes the full of my damage. Otherwise, he takes half damage. It's not dazed. Okay. So yeah, he he reels from that and just kind of like steps back and puts his hands to his ears. Nice. Ear piercing scream always works. My second level spells never work. Oh, well your your pug won't be worked. True. After um. Is second. that rounds? Thanks How is that rounds or minutes? Uh, rounds. One round per level. Okay, Five so rounds. I need to be taking track of this. So it's been it's been two so far. Yeah, two. I got three more. All right, goblin racist. You are dazed, if I recall. Sure am. So I think that's my turn. Yep. Uh, Esther. Hmm. Oh, you're casting Shadow Trap. Yes. I'm guessing I don't get to save. Like, what does Days do? Is oh, you mean Dazed? Um. Yeah. Oh, and Devin. What? I'm not. I'm not blind or deaf. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. So it's a shadow trap. You need to roll um, willpower save. And that's not affected by dazed. I. A great dazed creature can dazed take no pen can take no actions, turn. but has no okay. penalty to AC. Oh, okay. So it's like, oh, okay. It's like a stun. You just lose your turn. Uh, okay. And okay. Okay. In 
the target shadow to its current location. Okay. So it is, he is now anchored, but he's not aware of that yet. But you see the shadow sort of dig in. Mm -hmm. You can confirm that he is now entangled. Okay. All right. Norik. And I'll do it again. We'll save a fortitude <laughs> saving throw. <laughs> Look, if there was any time to unload all of my spell slots, it's right now. Uh, you're doing ear piercing stream again? Yeah. Uh, yes. Fortitude saving throw, DC 14. Right. And you roll damage. He made the DC. All right, so I do three da three sonic damage. Okay. And that is the end of my turn. Actually, I'm gonna move slightly closer. And that's the end of my turn. I rar. Okay. This guy is no longer dazed. Yeah, he gets up and he tries to move, and it just sort of... Ugh. Well, he can move five feet, I believe, right? Farther from five feet from original position. Okay. <laughs> it's right. a struggle as well. So he starts to walk to reposition, and he like stops in his tracks, and he like, What foul magic have you cast upon me now? <laughs> Sorry, this is good. We made this character decision. I'm sticking to it. No, I know you're doing good. You're doing good. Uh, it's very good. Esther, does mm -hmm. a 15 hit your AC? No. Dang. All right. Uh, he lets loose the arrow, and it flies right past you, and suddenly... He doesn't seem as gustoed as he was before. Right, Norix. Um, gonna start bingo bongoing. Oh no, yeah. Wait. Uh, hang on. The screams again. Actually, no. I have more spell slots to use, so. <laughs> Norix, like, Norix, like, hey, hey, eyes on me. <laughs> oh. Move down there. All right. Oh damn. He's gonna scream. It's gonna re, but silently, except only he can hear it. So, um, I once again, Fort DC 14, saving throw. Okay. Still disadvantage, I think, because this is round four, I think? Three? I don't remember, dude. Uh, there's just three for your spell. Alright. Okay. Uh, he makes a save again. Damn it. Ah! Everything has gone to darkness, and I know why. Uh, give me a second. Conta sorry, carry on. So yeah, four sonic damage. Okay. Damn, it's making this save even of disadvantage, boss. That is the end of my turn. Norik casually getting in the way. Esther cast a war uh, on me. I'm gonna make use of that. He'll also, be like... Norik would protect. He'll be like, oh, don't worry, I can get to both of you in due time. And he's going to attempt to get out of the shadow trap. Because it mm -hmm. takes his whole action to do that. And it's a, oh, it's a will save. Mm -hmm. uh, but Ty goes to defender. He is no longer entangled. No defender. No defender? Uh... Sorry, um, no disadvantage. I did roll twice. I heard it roll twice. <sighs> I'm telling you, these tremors is is uh, they're they're breaking your spell. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason you have the tremors. The hex <laughs> is wearing off. Esther, wait. Yeah, full round action. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, you need to get a little closer. Yeah, you're good 30. now. 
I was I was close enough. You had a weird diagonal. It's okay. I can move a five foot. Okay. All right. Oh goodness. Okay. So uh, what happens here, Esther? One d six, two caster levels. Or sorry, one d six, one per two caster levels. If you saved, then you take yeah, half. Half of three? Mm-hmm. All right. All right, what happens? Um, we're running down if he saves. Yeah. Okay. He did save. He saved, right? That was confirmed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he takes one strength damage. And she... Um, she gives one strength to Norik. <laughs> Norik's strong! Norik's strong! He's now at 10, 11 instead of 10. I love level 3. I love level 3 spells. Amazing. Um, sure helps Zach out. Norik's snarl and Norik is scream. I'm once again casting here piercing scream. Can I get a fortitude? DC 14 saving throw. Mm-hmm. All right. He takes the full brunt of that damage. Yes! Days! <laughs> really wish I could freaking use my, my start my performance and move action, but it's level seven. That is that is it. That's my turn. Yeah. We're discussing secrets. <gasps> okay. Secrets. I'll start with- I'll, uh... Seven? Yeah. It's uh, gone. Yeah. I didn't- Yeah. Well, he's dazed. Oh, right, okay. Sorry. Have to mark that. Esther. Esther? Yeah. How how much longer on Pugwampi's Grace? Uh, you need to make a spellcraft check for that. I think it's like one or two, maybe two rounds. One round. But how long ago Esther, or not Esther, Nora cast it? Uh, you'd say it's gonna wear off pretty soon. Does he have any glass potions, like a potion bandolier? A bandolier? No. You said he was kitted. Yeah. Okay. Not a bandolier, though. Oh, he, oh, he does. Never mind. He does. Don't worry about it. He does, actually. <laughs> Look at you. You were right all along. <clears throat> what the fuck? I want to shatter his potions on him. You can shatter one object. What's the one that's closest to his jugular? 
<laughs> the one you you don't wear your luckily you don't wear your bandoliers by your jugular. What's the one closest to anything vulnerable? An arm. His Actually, heart, yeah. Maybe? I mean, it's probably the top he one. Has, he has the bandolier. He has out the bow. His uh, his lower, the lower part of his arm. Okay, if we're gonna get really technical here, then I know that he's wearing. Armor. We're gonna have to do extra rolls. I'm just trying to figure out. Okay, so first things first, you need to get closer. A five foot step will do. Plus five feet per two levels? It's not going off your level. Oh. Whoops. Um, would it be a perception, maybe, to pick out either the largest one that would cause the most damage, or the... or one that's more sensitive? Uh, area? do you have to roll a- do you have to roll a hit with this? If you are aiming for a specific one, I'm going to make you roll a hit. It says saving throw will negates object. If you are aiming to get a specific one, a specific vial on him, that he is wearing, it needs to be a saving throw. Or it needs to be a hit. Because there are three you can hit, and they're... Yeah. I don't think that's the case. Are you sure? Because... Ugh, whatever. If it's, go! If it's go! Target... No, just It's a just will go. save. For the object? Yes, I mm -hmm. will roll the object will save. Okay. Will saves for objects use the... Uh, like the inanimate object war rules or something. So is there any negative... It has a oh, hardness, and use... that has to be overcome. But it is shatter. Specifically for destroying glass objects. This is something we should look up, because it's important, because it's going to come up again yeah. eventually. Okay, we can look it, look it up. Look it up while we play this, please. Also, um, what's the DC? Um, we're going to say the DC is 16 tops. This isn't a high-level spell. Yeah. And this is around what Esther and Norix are. If this is gonna cause enough trouble, she'll just hex him. Nope. We're we're already working it. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, there it is. Uh it's a will negate, but um It's attended, which is why it would possibly be different. Mm-hmm. No, no. My point is, yeah, that um if it doesn't have a willpower saving throw because it's a mundane item and not a magic item, then it, it doesn't get a will slow. Unless it's attended, and then I guess it'll get a will, maybe? I'm not it, sure how that it, works. Well, I mean, it's a potion, so what do we want to call it? If it's an attended that? item, which means that it's, like, in someone's possession, then it yes. should Yes, if someone's holding it, carrying it, wearing it. Okay, yeah, then, then it uses the will save of the person holding it. Okay, then, yeah, the will negates the object. Okay, um, okay thank you. Uh, yeah. It also, there's, there's hardness rules, but Shatters has damage attached to it. So, if you want to, you can make a roll damage, but it's a low enough hardness for a standard mundane glass bottle that would probably just, you know, shatter instantly, regardless of what is rolled. Yeah, but if it, if it goes off, it's hit, the problem is if it goes off his saves, yes? Then it has disadvantage. Yes. But I didn't roll. Yeah, so yeah, yes, it, it the, the, the potion the potion will have disadvantage because it's also technically pugwompied. Yeah, there we go. Uh yeah, it's an attended object, so it takes yes. to make saving throws as the character. Um, so it makes it? <laughs> uh, 
Okay. What happens? Uh, you... I mean, what does Esther do to cast a spell? It's a wand, so you just sort of mm -hmm. hold that out? It's a wand, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And... You remember... What was it? In Pokemon? I think it was Psychic? Mm-hmm. They would shake, and then, and then the enemy would shake? Yeah. That's what happens. <laughs> and the potion just ruptures all over him. Uh, can I get... A... What what is what's what's the role to identify a potion? Um, that would be a spellcraft. Can I get a spellcraft from either one of you? Before it's like a healing potion, we just heal them. Sorry, shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh, Esther, we'll just roll, roll on that twenty. Uh, Norik, 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 you're not sure what it is, Esther. That's that a thirty-two. Like a Esther, that looks like a cure light. <sighs> no, that's a good thing. I mean, I guess. I didn't even hear but that. I wanted, I wanted acid poison to just eat his flesh. Now, everyone knows you don't, you don't put acid in dumb places, unless you're you have, a level no, you one adventurer. To, no, you have to put it on your bandolier with your healing potion, so that way, when you fall unconscious, if you're, <laughs> and you label, you, you label it healing. Yes, exactly. Okay. Um. All right. He doesn't count as crystalline creature, right? Unfortunately, he is not crystalline. Um, Does the glass get him? The vial does explode. Um, it catches him in the side of the arm. Uh, roll me a d4. Ah. Nice. Okay, he takes that max damage. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. That's gonna leave a scar. I will eat his flesh. Before it can scar. Yeah. <laughs> she is so tired. Remember, five Esther has ago like some of the most. Moved to tears. She has like the rawest dialogue. <laughs> like she's just like that. Yeah, I love her. Okay. She yeah. is extremely dramatic. <laughs> it's my turn, right? Yes. I will finally yes. bingo my bongos. And that's it! That's my turn! <laughs> Alright, set up your bingo bongos. He's playing this exact beat right now. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so, the potion shatters all into his arm, and it's the one that was holding his bow, and he just releases it immediately, and it clatters onto the ground. In a panic, he looks, picks up his sword, and... Uh, tries to move out and goes, Who are you to be protecting these things? I'm Nori. <laughs> Wait. What are you doing here? Esther? Um, put him on the DM later, Stefan. Uh, okay. Well, no, you, you, you're right, you need to roll hide. Yeah, I didn't roll, okay. Well, now I have to go back down. But yeah, Esther, it's your turn in the meantime. What, did he st wait, what? Nothing to worry about, it go. She doesn't even have the magic dagger. Oh well. She had uh, five of them. I am a thing, just as you are a thing. <laughs> I too am a thing. Esther's so metal. <laughs> Another gotta potion. Stop. Oh my goodness. He's gonna shatter them all. Um, Esther, hang on. Okay, so. Stefan, what'd you roll? Uh, put it in chat. In, like, hide chat. Uh... Oh, for the hide? Yes. Sorry. Uh, I'm... not at disadvantage anymore? Nope. Disadvantage is over. Alright, uh... Uh... 
Oh, fuck. I forgot the other thing I wanted to do. It's okay. We're still trying to figure his thing out. Okay. Esther, you need to make a perception. You get a plus two because he just yelled at you. Actually, I'll give you another plus. I'll give you a plus five because he yelled at you and you saw exactly where he went. All right, okay. Esther. Um, you know he's. You're pretty sure he's still behind this tree. You mm -hmm. can't get a look at him. Oh. You can. You. It, maybe if you if you like move to the side, you might be able to like. Maybe get him, but it's a weird vision corner thing. Okay. disappeared so he disappeared after saying what are you or who are you he stepped back went behind a tree mm -hmm. okay from there he, he um He's hiding behind trees what a pussy <laughs> damn it i think the glitter's faded off of him as well yes the glitter has faded because bad um esther you can just barely see him um I will, you can't target something specific, but you can still try to shatter in his direction. Yeah, um, instead of that, she'll just, uh, misfortune. Okay. We'll save. Okay, yeah, so... What, what is the DC? It's a 16, but the 16 what? We've gone over this a few times. I'm pretty not for mis not for misfortune. I don't know if it's the same different. It's a will, will for everything. It's the he this hex. Okay. It says specifically so, yeah. in the text. You do not feel the hex take hold. Mm -hmm. She still says, "I am a thing." Just as you are a thing. Um, Anora yells, like, and who are and who are you to just go around murdering just people living their lives? Um, but he's behind a tree, so I can't really shoot him, right? Um, you're gonna need to give me a perception. Arrow to the tree. What? Arrow to the tree. Maybe with a ballista. Intimidate. So yeah, Nork, you can see him, but again, it's a matter of he has partial cover. You know what? Intimidate. That's actually a great idea. I haven't actually done that with Nork this time, when he should have absolutely intimidated. Hmm. Well, I'm you dirty cheater. It's... I didn't think it was serious. I have a plus 11 to intimidate, dude. Oh. <laughs> with those bongos? With this beat? Unfortunately, I don't use the performance for my, for my intimidate anymore, because I took the song healer archetype, and that replaces that beat, but... I still intimidate. All right, and Nora like kind of yells, it's like, it's like, come on and fight, like, I'm like, um, come on and fight, um, don't be a coward, which is, which is a gold coming from him, but you know, he doesn't know. Um, can I attempt to demoralize? Okay, uh. Then that's a will. I have it I open. Think so. The DC of this check is equal to 10, plus the target's hit dice, plus the target's wisdom modifier. The target's? Yep, so I make the I, I make the roll, and it's going against mm -hmm. the yeah, target's DC. Yeah, it's intimidate ah, okay. versus that DC. It's okay, not okay. like Nora yeah, does yeah, something yeah. and then they have to save. Okay. Alright. That's Nora's turn. Uh, here. Uh... Because you guys. Mm -hmm. Uh, Goblin Racist? Uh, Esther had. Like, almost vision, right? Mm hmm. Nord yeah. could see, see him bear a little bit too. Okay, both of you no longer see him. You guys can give me a perception. Cool. 
Uh, Esther Norky does something behind the tree. You can't really tell. Um, Norky looks like he's like drinking something, and then he vanishes. Pretty sure he just drinks the potion. <laughs> but you still hear something from behind the tree. Any more glitter dust? Fresh out, bud. Damn it. <sighs> from behind the tree. Picks up the bow. Yeah. Picks up the bow he left. That is a plus. It is a long. Okay, it's a long. It's a masterwork composite longbow plus one. Christ. Make a perception check. There are notches in the bow. Mm -hmm. Almost like tally marks. Oh, that's a familiar face. Notches in the bow, like a what? Like tally marks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and. It's worn, but it definitely, yeah, like Sheep said, it's a very well-made bow. Okay. It's old, but been well cut. Hello, Esther. I remember Esther. <laughs> you again. Our friend! Is he looking lucid? Heel check. <laughs> lucid. <laughs> lucid for this guy. Um, he okay. Well, I mean, he's definitely responding. Uh, he looks a little more lucid than he did when you first came across him. Yes, that's what a nice nap does for some people, I guess. Old people, you know. E yeah, old old people. <laughs> <laughs> Esther just says, oh. Uh, Esther just says, I fail. You what? Hello? Am I cutting yeah. out? No, no, no. Just having emotions. Sala has to prepare. <laughs> <laughs> um, she gets out like her knife. Just a shiv, and she was, um, and she's. You, you, hey, I can't hear anything. I'm gonna reconnect. Uh, I, I think it was Sala. So it was, was cutting out. It was Sala. It was her. It was Sala. They're Hello? very robotic right now. Yeah, Sala's yep. cutting out for everybody else, too. Okay, um, Sala, reconnect. Um, and see if that helps. Sala? Sala might be lagging out. Oh, unfortunate. Rest in peace, internet. Yeah, Sala's lagging out. Uh, she says, kick me. Um, there we go. Computer crashed again. Oh. There we go. Yeah, I had to reconnect you. Back. Yeah. Um, so Cold Lockmark said, You failed. Esther yeah, like... says, I failed. But it's not too late. It's still here. Um. She's gonna loot the hobgoblin. <laughs> Alright. Um, Comic Marie says, I can still feel it. Brings life to my old bones, it does. But that's probably not good. Not for you, Esther. You 
feel? What do you feel? I feel more alive than I have in years. Then it is coming back. What's coming back? Did it have a name? Did they, like, call it something? They called it the uh, Creeping Darkness. The Creeping Shadow, sorry. The Creeping Shadow. Yes, it spreads! Still here, still here! Can I kill it? You cannot kill a force. Stop, maybe. Yes, stop. Find the source of the force. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, you know, he's practicing for his rap album. Is there a man in these woods clothed in dark robes? Dark one, yes. He's here, he's there. Working hard many years. He's I've seen him many he's times. He's Take me to him that I might kill him. He far away, he is far away. I can do nothing. I am here because of his gift. You are his agent? She has the knife out. A gent? I am a gent. <laughs> are you? Oh my god. No. Like... You thought there was real vitriol there, like, before? There's, like, extreme vitriol with that. What about that, Esther? Points at Nork. Oh, you're just stupid again. Nork snarling! She goes back to new- she goes back to, like, looting this hobgoblin. Nork is snarling and bristling his fur. Where are you, you fuck? Come out here! Um, Norik, I'm gonna let's see if I can pull these off the layer. <gasps> oh my god. Boop. A bunch of goblins come running out of the cave. <laughs> Not this one. Off! Give me one moment. Got it. There we go. Goblins. And they say... Uh, let's see. Rakirk! No! Rakirk dead! Who kill? Where killer? Pink skin. Um. Rakirk smiles. Uh, come with Rakirk. Without a thought. Esther, Esther uh, hands. Oh. Hang on, please. Uh, he says, you find the source, the source of the force. You know where it is. I know where it is. The cave? A cave? Why are you here? Here to tell you. Source and force! I remembered! You, Esther. This Esther. He points at you. Always good Esther. <laughs> Don't remember much from before. Merlocrep. Ugh. 
Cards are back. Yes, yes, yes. Jack it, Jack. Uh, uh. Esther. Good Esther. This Esther glad you still here. I love him so much. She turns away. And, uh, hands the longbow to the goblin. Says, His name is this John is... Cena. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> His name was Doskak Greenstalker. This was his. What was his name? Dust Tag Green Stalker. Dusty Green. Stalker Green. Dusty Dust Green Man. Dust Tag Green Stalker. Uh, is Algebra still here? I am here, but only in voice. Ah. Uh, well, I can't see Roll20. Sticks are to. The one with the most brain cells in this group. Um, says. You speak goblin. You know right, goblin? Esther can write goblin. Right? Having. Yes, you, if you. Yeah. 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 You learned it from writing. Okay. So um, she'll. Say. You, you write. In Goblin. Hang on, freaking Zach's barking. We no forget. She puts down... Um, she writes down name. Uh, like, hair color. Eye color. <laughs> Basically human. a police report. <laughs> yes. She, um... She, she wrote... She writes good with... Sword and bow. Loud. Stinky. <laughs> um. All, all things goblins will look for. Yeah. And, um. Sorry, I'm back. Oh, good. Zach is just going nuts. Uh. Claimed. Killed his, uh, claimed goblins killed his mentor. It mentor. Oh Teacher? no. Uh, uh, long traveler. Uh, right, uh, right note, please. Note, please. Yep. Need note now. Must talk. She's, she is writing that note. Right, faster. Please, faster. Must talk. Gurkovish. While this is going on, Urgent. Norik's she... gone here, and he's freaking looking, he's sniffing. <laughs> she passes the note, um, and she passes the longbow over, um, says, this was his. I am sure you can find him with this. Too big to use. Not of use. Using spell. Take to Moss Walker. Moss Watcher. Or Letter first, just later. Yep, 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 Run yep, off. yep, yep. It's sort of quiet. You can hear them sort of grieving. Yeah. Their lost ones. Checking them out. Hey, Lime, you want to help voice something? Oh, you're not in here. Never mind. I'm in here. You're, you're not in roll 20. Uh, oh, that's true. It's sort of 
quiet, like you're in the eye of the storm. And then you hear another rustling. Esther has daggers out, dagger out her bone shiv. You see his bow out. at the edge of the clearing. Oh, you motherfuckers, she says in Draconic. <laughs> I return, poor dear. You pay now. I eat you. <laughs> there you go, yes. God, I, I'm sorry, I, I'm still doing goblin voice. I love, I love, hate that voice. And the other sort of nods, hate, 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 hate. Say, um, we come kill you. And then the, and then the three in front say, kill, kill, kill. Why? <laughs> you. Or hang on. Kill me, you. You like bro deer. <laughs> I heard. I. Are they talking at Esther or Norik? They're just talking in your guys' direction. Uh, wait, no, they're actually talking at Esther. Norik, make a perception check. Okie pokey. Give me 20. Yay! Hey, Esther! Not Esther, Norik. Yeah? You hear something, and you look up in the tree in front of you. Oh, shit! <laughs> See that? And it leaps down on you. I was looking for human! I was looking <laughs> for racists! Alright. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Nork instantly went from snarly, snarly, poofy boy to like, what? Okay, you guys can roll another initiative. <sighs> I mean, if you want to keep your initiative, you can. But both of you have to agree. I think Nestor wants that new initiative. Or your own. Oh, I don't care. Okay, well, that is both better for the same. Did Nora, did you roll the exact same thing last time, or did it just no, overwrite? I... No, Norix was a 23. Uh, okay. Last time. Because I selected my tokens, that's probably why I updated it. Okay. Um, nice. I I don't know what the oh great right, I have stats here. It's the bottom right, yeah. These are yep. the same wormy left, boys sorry. that brought us to Esther's freaking dragon tree god thing, right? Yes. Norik's so confused. All right. Well, Norik, you can be confused because you're first. Great. I thought they were supposed to be friends. Um, I'm gonna do a sneaky beaky oh. five foot step back. Uh huh. I'm gonna sneaky beaky plant bongos again. <laughs> Alright. And that's my turn. Esther, these fuckers are back. You all listen. To the Eternal, do you not? Yeah, no! Only Mudir. What's Mudir? Because these There's guys are speaking you. a weird version of Draconic. Like, it's literally what, what you hear as a player, unless I cut out, is okay. sort of what it is. I wasn't sure if you were, like, saying accented like Mother or something. I mean, who knows? Like, yeah. You could you use real world logic for this fantasy game. I would encourage that. <laughs> Esther? Esther Funk? She's doing a perception. Okay. She's trying to find the one with the black eye. This one! <laughs> <laughs> In the back. She... Target sighted. 
And she looks it right in its still open eye. And she says and she says to it, Do you want to lose the other one? <laughs> These haven't gone terribly well for her before, but I'm hoping for that bonus from like the situ like a, like the situation. Like a bonus because you got an advantage uh, kick. Well, yeah. Well. Yeah, it just hisses at you. Would you like to take a five foot step back? Or what? Would you like to do something else with your turn? I was gonna say, I thought I already took a five foot step. Whatever. Okay. <sighs> um, Crunchy is ready to spit and, or bite. They're close. So he's poised to attack, he's not attacking? Mm hmm. A held action. Shit. Oh. Put that one on the map layer. Fuck. There we go. Uh, this taps a worm. Whoa. Esther. You see one drop down from a tree, another slither out from the tree, another slither out from the trees. Oh my god, there's so many. I wish I had this tree. <laughs> Norik, you're gonna get two bite attacks on you. No! I think they have ward on. Alright, Norik. Does a 9 hit? No! What about a 12? No! <laughs> they miss. Yay! I'll see 5, 10. Okay. Esther, you're gonna get attacked from thing 1 and thing 2. Oh my god, they're so freaking many! There's a 14 hit! No. Okay, there's a 9 hit! No. Fuck, I'm not rolling that one anymore. <laughs> they slither and and try to crunch at you, but all of them fucking miss. Hooray. Goblins, uh, one of the goblins says, They attack! And help Master Norik! Help, help the Esther! One, two, three. Oh. oh, they, they figured out her name. Well, probably Maybe. one. I think it's more of a title at this point to them. Like the Norik. Master Norik. Master Norik. Norik's, yeah, that's like an Norik's actual name. Norik's still uncomfortable being called that, but whatever. <laughs> Alright. So that happens. Oh, hang on. I gotta do a thing. And more goblins come out of the cave. Uh, can you guys help me find them on the, on the map, on the DM layer? Yeah. Oh, wait, here we go. One, two, three, one. There you go. Just move them to the token layer as you find them. Not the map layer like I do. Oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> the map was added to the initiative. <laughs> Amazing, was it? Yeah. God. That's All right. That's your actions. Oh, that's a badger. Uh, Nart Nart aren't here. As per someone's rules. All right. Mm. Yep, you hear you guys see a bunch of goblins charge out of the cave, and they say, "Avenge Riot Kirk! Avenge Zigtok!" Norik? Oh, wait, hang on. We have two attacks. Ha <laughs> uh, Let's see. Their to hit is... They're, they are barded. 
Oh, that makes a difference. Snurk. <laughs> Stabs at this one. Yeah, it's a plus two and to attack rolls and damage rolls. Catches it. Huh? Plus two to attack and damage rolls. Yeah, that, that's what makes a difference. Snurk. Emboldened by the bongos. Stabs this one with a spear just below, or just where its arm connects to its body. Uh, what are we doing for damage? Yeah, you can tell I'm prepared. Okay. Thick Merc beside him does the same. I will put these guys in initiative. Oh, Christ. Uh, we'll take Deacon out. Because this is, this is a thing. Okay. From the back, one of them will try to fire an arrow into a melee. Oh, no. Oh, good, that's a four. <sighs> the arrow goes wide. Uh, Norik. Yeah, um, Norik yells out. Norik yells out. Um... Um, try to focus on one. Surround it if you can. He's going to take a five foot step back. He's going to use Battle his last spell slot. Well, look, he had to take care of the other goblins, okay? I know. Um, he's going to use his last spell slot. He's going to cast Grease on there. Oh no. Oh no! Delete! Delete! <laughs> You're casting a spell on the ground, correct? Yes. So, must make a successful reflex save, or fall. Oh. Hey, Nork, before you cast that spell, would you like to make an intelligence or a knowledge nature? Oh, they don't have legs, do they? <laughs> Take back? <laughs> they can't be tripped, they don't have legs. I will, I will save you your action for that if you want. I, I, I want to take back. Yeah. Oh my god. They don't have legs. Dork's <laughs> like, shit! What do I do? They don't have legs! It's fine. I shoot. I shoot. I'll okay. shoot. Um. I'll shoot. This one? Just because this goblin- oh, oh no, but that one's next to Esther. Oh, but that one's got a goblin next to it. Ah! I need AoE spells. I need blistering invective. Okay, I'm going to... Shoot arrow. At... That one. Because Esther is very surrounded. Roll to hit. Twenty-four AC for eight piercing. Yeah, that'll do it. Uh, so you're hitting this one here. Yes. Actually, hang on. Um. Okay, this one here. Yes. Okay. You shoot it. it the Your arrow pierces through its scaly hide. And where it was looking at Esther, it turns, looks at you, and hisses. <laughs> Esther? She forgot to take the... whatever. What? Um... She had Crunchy hold an action for... Oh, uh, you can t you can take it now. I'll let you do that. Okay. Because I forgot to. Okay. 
Was that the action that's gonna happen nope. with Crunchy, or is hold that happening hold next? Hold on, hold on. Uh, okay. That's not the action. The held action was gonna be, she was here. Um, this one tried to bite her, right? Uh, this the two right that are adjacent to you did, yes. Okay. Only hold one action. So, this one's for that one. Okay. Which one? I'm, I'm sorry. I just completely zoned out. Okay. Crunchy lunges out to bite, but um, he can't quite pierce mm -hmm. the height of this thing. But maybe next time. Okay. Now that he knows. Now she magic fangs uh, Crunchy. Uh -huh. So I get to add that to his condition. Yeah, go for it. Does Crunchy want to do anything? We'll bite again. Crunch. First, you don't succeed. Crunchy All right, see that's again. a crunchy. <laughs> crunchy lunges out again. This time, he knows how to pierce its hide. He's learned. It does one damage, right? Because one damage minimum. Yeah, it was a no one damage non-lethal. More importantly, Fort DC ten. Yes. Love and... The, uh... The thing sort of startles as it sees Crunchy, and then it sort of... Like... Uh, it's a daze, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, then it sort of... Gets a little woozy and blinking its eyes, trying to shake its head. Mm-hmm. Because, guess what? Crunchy the God poisons everything. <laughs> Love him. I also love and support Crunchy. Right. <sighs> they are going to attack. <laughs> Bug runs it gun. Oh. Uh... This one's actually going to move twice, so you will get an attack up. Oh, never mind. No. I yes, mean, I guess I, I guess you, you're threatening with Crunchy, because that's all you did, really. Yeah. Yeah, see you, Stefan. No, Stefan already left. So Crunchy can get an attack for Tony if he wants. Okay. Um, I mean, we deliberated on this and said no. Hmm? We've done this before, and the answer was no. Okay. Their turn. They're gonna keep going, then. Uh, so yeah, this one... Oh, it's gonna go here, this one's gonna go here, this one's gonna go... Let me grab some more d20s. Gonna get basically five feet of movement. This they slither around. No, oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, two attacks on Norik does fourteen hit. No. Your armor class. Took said BRB, didn't she? No. I'm here. Oh. Does a 14 hit? No, no. Does a 16 hit? No. Uh, Esther. Mm hmm. Does a 15 hit? No. Does an 8 hit? No, no. No. <laughs> uh, you actually have three attacks on you. Um, 11 misses. Uh, oh no. Poor Ballard takes a hit, though. Okay. 
the thing bites out uh this one right here lashes out at ballard um bites at him and he seems a little woozy now algebra anything in the circle gets an orc bonus okay um under 10 gonna miss under 10 gonna miss uh 11 will miss okay the rest of them um strike out but um i guess they weren't prepared to fight goblins You're loading in algebra. Oh. It is the goblin's turn. The goblins are going to attack. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to have... Three arrows. Um... Okay. Uh, two arrows, I'm sorry. The two archers in the back, they fire at this one here. And, um, both arrows pierce almost the same spot. And it goes down. Uh, these guys will move. These two goblins stab at this one. This one? And it crumples below them. The one that's gonna be X'd. Oh. Um, but those, uh, those two can't. They double move to get here. Mm -hmm. Uh... One of them hits this one that's right here, and that is their turn. Great. My turn? I oh, yeah. five foot step back, and uh -huh. I shoot the one right in front of me. Okay. Oof. Not a good shot. Is that... You shoot your bow, but it almost twists its body around where the arrow went. Yeah. Right. And laughs at you. Did you not get your bard bonus? No, I did. Uh, I rolled a two. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Esther? This one. This one. Gets hexed. Okay. Saves a willpower? Mm hmm. Okay, what do you want the hex to do? It's going to be evil eye. Okay, Minus and then what? Penalty on. It's going to be AC. Okay. Uh, are you casting. Oh, right, you. Do, are, do hexes invoke attack opportunity? Hexes are supernatural. Okay. I actually that doesn't answer. Do they? I don't know what that if that does or doesn't. They uh, cannot be disrupted and don't provoke attack opportunity. Okay. Cool. Um. Depending on how poorly it failed or passed this happens. Okay. Oh, actually, it's... It says generally don't. Apparently, if you do it from melee, it could provoke it. It could provoke AOL. Okay, um, we'll let it slide this turn. They can't be disrupted, but so like they can't be counterspelled or something. I think is the deal. Hmm. Um. Anyways, Esther, you're green. Would you like to draw some nice plants in that guy's square? All right, just the one. 
Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, it only would affect one. Um... Okay. The right? Uh... For every five by oh. which the target fails its save against your hex, you create one additional square of difficult terrain adjacent to any square the target occupies. Okay, yeah, it unfortunately didn't fail that badly. Okay. Okay, so it would be entangled then, right? Yes. Okay. And is it thorny? It's not, right? Um, Just difficult terrain. Okay, so this one... Difficult terrain. Um, it becomes occupied or overgrown with thorny plants that count as difficult terrain. If they're moving in or out of the square, they must succeed reflex or acrobatics or take one uh, d6 points of piercing damage and immediately end movement. Okay. This one will slither out. This so one... How it, how it does the save. What do you mean? Um, I mean, it made it, it made it save, which is why it's able okay. to get out. Okay. Yeah. This, this one sort of looks at your plants and moves a little. All right. Uh... Esther, three attacks. Highest is oh, this? I mean, huh? um, Crunchy was gonna bite too. Oh, go for it. This one. Okay. Uh, Crunchy needs to roll another d20. Crunchy bites out, but he misses. Okay, so mm -hmm. they will go. Um, this one is going to full retreat. Um, Ballard takes another hit. Okay, let me just count the hits real quick. One, two, three, four, five. Three, five. Sorry guys, my roll 20 is being slow. Okay. Um They swarm and lash out. Um Esther high of a 17, does that hit? Tied to the vendor. Mm hmm. So, miss. Mm hmm. All right. Goblins attack. Let's see. Uh. This guy's actually. Well, goblins are scared. They wouldn't try to do anything dumb. Too dumb. Okay. We have attacks on one, two, three. All right. Um, okay, three of them uh, attack this one by Norik. Um, and they managed to take it down. Yeah, teamwork! Oh, jeez. Four of them attack this one by Esther. And it also goes down. Teamwork! Uh, Deacon is no longer dazed. It is Nork's turn. Oh, wait. I brought my archers. 
one hit. Arches, go. All right. Minus four. Minus two. Okay. Uh, Esther, an arrow whizzes past you and hits this one right here. Yeah! It is now Nork's turn. Cool. I'm gonna shoot... Um... I'm gonna shoot this one, because... Because I feel like it. Aw, oh, damn it. Nork, you fire your bow again. Um, but these things are quick and are um, pretty dodgy. Yeah. Oh well. God, dude. Maladies? Thank God yeah. for that freaking bowstring. I love it. Yeah. Esther. Hmm? It is your turn. Yeah. Uh, hex on that one. Same one. Okay. Um, they can't attack. So you're gonna need to do this defensively because attacks of opportunity. Yeah. Roll. Sure. Yes. Yeah, you're fast. Yeah. You need like a, a twelve or something, you know, or probably a seventeen, but still. Will okay. Power, uh, willpower sixteen. If it fails, uh, terrain. Yes. Underneath. Uh, this is the one that also gives it a minus of something, right? Yeah, minus two AC. Got it. Would you like to narrow draw another circle? And I need to make a 15 DC or 12 DC. So you get one additional circle. Actually, uh, diagonal is adjacent, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And Crunchy does bite. How long do these last, by the way? Crunchy lunges out, but his bite misses. Okay. Um, it's a 16? Or no, I already added the buff. Never mind. Um, yeah. how, how long does um does the root last for? Like, turns? Uh, rat lasts a number of rounds equal to in lot of fire. Okay, so long enough. Mm-hmm. One of them, this one over here, slithers off. Um, before it does, it says, "Yo, I get you. I get you. Get with here." The one of the, the one the bruised eye, the black eye. Yep, the one that character. sat there. In, the one that sat there in the back. <laughs> yeah. Okay, three. Okay, um... Esther, does a 20 hit? Yes. Okay, their first hit on a player of the night. I need oh, you to I make... <laughs> yeah, fuck, of course. How um... much? You take five points of damage, and I need you to make me a fortitude saving throw. Wait, maybe it's not fortitude. <sighs> yes, it's a fortitude saving throw. Plus poison. Uh, it's not quite enough. Okay. You feel something strange with its bite. Um, take one point of strength damage. 
We're at four strength, lads. Oh my goodness. That's four more hits, right? If it you only get ones. Okay, uh, this one's gonna step here, this one's gonna step. These guys are just sort of like running all over the place. <sighs> okay, two archers. They will attack this one that's trapped between the hedges. Um, both of them hit. Amazing. And they take it down. Everyone else. This one goes down. This one takes a hit. Um, this one here... Did I skip their turn? Hmm? No shit, I had them attacked, didn't I? Yeah, they did us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's... turn. Mm-hmm. Nork? Oh, sorry. Um, shoot. Doink! The one in front of me, just like, next to Esther. Yay! That's a good hit. Hey, that'll hit! You get a solid hit in the thing, the arrow sticks in to its neck. Nice. And that's my turn. Okay, Esther. Nork just shot the one that's in your brambles. Mm-hmm. Crunchy bites, and we're gonna make a fortune saving throw that I will probably say I'll fail because I always low roll. Oh, okay. He bites at it, um, managing to hit it through the brambles. Mm -hmm. Um, it hisses and uh, coils back. Anything else? Esther says in Draconic, you can leave now. Their turn! This one! Hisses, and it tries to leave, but it fails its fucking reflex save. Esther, roll me a D... D6. Yeah. This one goes down. The one survivor... It looks. And it doesn't even say anything, it just... Scrams. Someone being a whiny baby. Yeah, it's my cat. Aww. That is my cat. Love. All right. I the love goblins. Mr. Bond. The goblins cheer, celebrate, and then they start. And then they, they start sort of looking at the tassel worms, like dragging them, sort of going over them, and they're like, Beast? not poison, right? Poison. Good eat. They need to take out the, the the poison sacks. I don't know. Um, I mean, if it's cooked, it'll probably be fine. You don't think they have venomous flesh, just their bite. Mm hmm Cook it. Leave their jaws. Cook better. Yes. And Esther's gonna start... Uh... Like, separating away the head so that they can carry off the wormy butts. Yeah. Norik's kind of like... Just each one. I figure this is more of a surgical thing. Which is why I used heal. Yeah, that's that's fine. Okay. Norik's kind of like, just like, you know... post battle jitters, he's like... Ugh. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> he just kind of motions at all the wars. Why? <laughs> Well, just in the nick of time, Stixarta comes riding in on Ravrix and says, sort of stop, gets next to and says, 
what happened. Norik's like a human, a pink skin, came and killed um the boss man as well as um oh Yes, 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 give talk to Grigovish. What what she points at the tassel room. What this? What happened? I I miss fight? I don't know. Esther says one of them said a very bad word for me. So I hit it in the eye with a, with a ball. You mean vegetable? <laughs> Close. Cool. I'd do the same. Kindred spirit. <laughs> hmm. Can't eat meat, yes? One of the other goblins will just say, Yes, meat, good, cook first! Say. No head. Yep. She'll start sort of ordering them around. And she'll stop and say, Gurkhafish. She come out with others. And mushrooms. Hmm. <laughs> um, Esther's like examining one of the heads of these tassel worms. Uh huh. Love those um, mushrooms. I think it, it's time to harvest. Could it be the craft poison? Uh, sure. I know that it's normally survival, but... No, I'll let you use craft poison. Um, it's like using craft alchemy for alchemy yeah. checks. <laughs> um... <clears throat> it... You can get... Let's see. Can you roll me a d20? Actually, roll me... Roll me a d8 and add... Four to whatever number you get. Okay. You can successfully harvest all the um, venom sacks on them. Mm -hmm. Maybe a few teeth for later. Mm -hmm. How long will they last? Just a day? Um... That's the problem with itself. poison rules. Yeah, and you you could probably like preserve it in some way to get it to last longer, but yeah. Mm -hmm. As you harvest the last one, Norik, I'm sure you're getting over your battle rage. I'm a scald now. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the goblins come out. Kirkabesh has... Sarto next to her. She's sort of using Sarto as a uh, assistant Grace. to walk. Sarto and Sarto. She says, I am afraid I failed you, Gurkovesh. What? She gestures at the fallen gobos. Yes, I heard. Back here. Zigzog. Or not zigzog, um... Zigtalk, sorry. I couldn't protect them. I tried, but... They will be missed. We... Them and their companions. But... There is nothing else we can do for them now. From the looks of it... Sorry, my cat's throwing a tantrum. Um, from the looks of it... You... Did not fail. And she gestures at all the tassel worms and stuff. Mr. Bond, get out of my room.
So yeah, she gestures at Tapborn and says, uh, by looks of it, you not fail. These Hatzel worms were not a fight for the goblins. Mm. Yes. They were helpful. You may have the meat. <laughs> yes, yes. If you require things that re uh, reduce strength, I have venom sacks for you. Hmm. Could be useful. But. Must ask. You say we leave. While. You chase. Your. Green stalker. Your bragma come. Get help. She talk to me after. I have heard what you and your tribes went through. All I can offer are apologies. But you warn us. Yes? Yes. Warn us so it not happen. Yes. Your cart, your sorrow, has root as much as fit. Good for a tribe of hundred goblins, maybe. Big, big tribe will work. Yes. But we not live in this home long. Some still old enough remember our exile, our travel, chased by another green stalker. We have nowhere to go. Cannot stay here. You say... You say the stalker... fled. Yes. The only reason we settle... can settle... because... we fight... other stalker. We win fight... at great cost, but win. We find home. But now another found us, has killed. Where do we go? Where is safe from this darkness you speak of? As their kind of size, she thinks about the size of the farm at home. Greg was gonna sort of creep over and be like, "Hmm." Greg was gonna creep over and be like, "You're not thinking about the warrants, are you?" Maybe they can make their own space on the same land. Is Twig alive, by the way? Ah! Drop my can, but yes. Okay. Oh shit, thank god I was empty. <laughs> Hearing my name gave me a startle, but yes, I am alive. <laughs> the kobolds do not have much. We have... a farm. We are starting anew. But like there's enough space, right? 
yeah, the goblins, I'm not the goblins, the kobolds are currently only taking up like a quarter of the yeah. farm with their whole warren system. Mm. You would share share your land resources with us. Yes. Even in sickness. We are sick now, and you are helping us. Mm. Yes. More NPCs from all of these demands. We must accept. We will accept. Oh, you, Esther. And you, Norik. You, Fragma. Oh, you many times. Many, many, many favors. Oh, you our lives. They're only... <laughs> they're not many of us. Not what you see... Us. What you see... Everyone. We... Rebuilding... Too. Perhaps... Rebuild together. This time. This time. Nora's gonna say, um, first let's get a proper burial ceremony for the goblins we lost. I don't know what's We happening. can bury them at the farm. Yeah, that works. Um, uh, wait, do I bring goblin balls all the way back? Okay, whatever. We do not do not bury. We burn the lost so their spirits may be free with flame. Now. Shall we go? Yes. It be dark soon. Must make haste. Yes. Okay. So... Guys, you're Sarto on the cave. And yeah, mm -hmm. everyone probably has to zoom in a shit ton. <laughs> uh, my thing's actually fucking up. Um, anyways. So you're at the Goblin Cave. Um, it's late. I mean, late is just kobold early. And goblin early. Although they were sort of Unless having weird in, shifts. Unless you mean in real life. No. Um, I mean, yes, but no. <laughs> okay, so... <sighs> it's about 10 miles to the farm from there. Mm -hmm. Three hours. Four yeah. hours. And probably it's another five to get to the commune itself. No, not five, more like three, four, but still. Mm -hmm. Um it'll probably be around uh close to midnight by the time you get get there. But you'll be out of the forest before um like actual darkness hits. Mm-hmm. If you guys want to travel the whole way. Yeah. The goblins um, help carry. Uh, they have three of them carry little baby badgers. <gasps> yes! Um, some of them carry um, the myconids um, that have like uh, sort of acid pox in them. Uh, you can hear that Mike it's they're sort of they sing and they um as you guys go about this new home <laughs> 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 y 
Yeah, you. I mean, you guys have a Minotaur, and now you just need some, like, uh, you have a Knoll, like, what other monstrous races? Some orcs now. You have bug there. Mm hmm. When you get to the commune, you're exhausted. Everyone's exhausted. The commune's hopping. But oh. you guys are tired. Esther will, yeah, bring Sarto Carto. Mm hmm. Yeah, Esther, you and Norik want nothing more than to sleep after today, but you know you have to finish your job. Yeah. Mm hmm. You go to my, uh, you go, um, to the war, you go to the Warrens. Your first stop, Macapa. Every kobold we see, we're going to say, uh, please be kind to them. Uh, be kind to the goblins. They will wait at the back entrance. Because mm -hmm. you guys can probably go there first. Yeah. Um. They don't, they're not comfortable going in. Not at all. Mm -hmm. I need to count the goblins because I can give you an actual head count. Um. Yeah, you give Makapa some of the root. Um, you have more than you'd ever know what to do with. Well. Well. <laughs> For the now. Next, the next step is attempt to attempt again to grow more. Mm-hmm. So you, I'm sure uh, Norik helps, probably. Gurkhavesh will help. Um, the Kappa is, like, dead set on learning mm -hmm. how to make... Oh. Hello? Anyways, dead set, on, dead set on learning how to make your... Um, how to make this cure. Or medicine. Mm-hmm. Esther's, like got all of her um, basically what are they called? M medicine books. All, all of her resources are out. Yeah. I think that she's translating. She needs to. Yeah. I mean with and with Fragma's um, help who will be there to help you read the books mm -hmm. from the hut um you actually oh, learned damn it. huh i wanted to loot the hobgoblin you did you did I'll, I'll get to that i need to um find an old module because that's what he's from oh christ yeah. All right. yeah you did say that you did so don't worry about it okay yeah um when that is done um uh like when it's all ready Makapa starts giving it to the hatchlings, and she looks at you two and says, uh... And by the way, the goblins are probably just, like, in inside, but not all the way inside, because it's freezing. The entry, the entryway? Yeah. Franklin's like, they've just been standing there. What should we do with them? Makapa will huff. Sort of shove um, a small bowl with the medicine in it in your guys' direction and say bring this to, stu to that stubborn old fool. Yeah. <laughs> Nora she... looks at the goblins It's like, should we invite them in? I mean... We have an entire house that is not used. And you hear some more like, house? What's a house? But they're excited. Upstairs tunnels. Upper tunnels. Upper tunnels. <gasps> Tunnel above ground. Esther will show um, them to the house. Mm -hmm. We've we've memed about this, uh, but 
the entryway is like exactly the same setup as the Jackson house, mm -hmm. like the living room and stuff. So it has play, like play, a dinner and place settings for like. Yeah, yeah, no, people. I know. Yeah, yeah. We, we've been about this, but like Esther and has made it as homey as she can. And at this point, it's, you know, getting there. She's the only one who like sits in there. I think that she's claimed like one small room on the side where she does most of her study, like where she does her centipede and plant cultivation because it need they need the sun. Mm -hmm. But it's winter time, so they can't be outside. Yeah. Um. But she tells them that it'll keep them out of the cold. They can make their own tunnels when they are ready. But yes. these are ready. And actually, there's two bugbears in there, and mm, oh yeah, the goblins get in. Uh. They start freaking out. One, one says, "Nope, nope, nope," and, and they sort of like <laughs> branch their spear and say, "Harry Hobgoblin!" Bug, bugbear. And the bugbears get to their feet and they say, "Who dis? What your name?" Friend. Nork's like, Nork's like, um, they're friends. They're. Why don't you introduce introduce yourselves to each other? <laughs> yes, Jerry's sitting in the corner with his knitting. <laughs> Carefully puts away his blanket. It's at least a foot longer, longer, or his scarf, or whatever it was it was Nork's supposed like, to be. Nice. I think it was a scarf. It was about a fo foot longer. It's about a foot longer now. He's been working hard. Oh and he God. stands up. And all the goblins, they take a step back. Does he take his little glasses off? He doesn't have those quite yet. Oh. Someday. He, he borrows Norix, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Norix like, has anyone seen my reading glasses? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry stands up and the goblins start panicking. Kirk and Alice says, Oh, I'm sure it's friendly. Jerry walks over and we can hear the clump, clump, clump of his hooves on the wood. He sort of he dwarfs the bugbears and he sort of pats them both on their heads <laughs> as he goes past. And then he gets to you guys and he crouches down. Doris and even crouched down, he's friends. like... Yeah, crouched down, he's still up to, like, Nork's chest. And he says, Size category large be like that. <laughs> he looks and he says, More friend. Three thing. Tribe. Ah. Hi, Grodzol. You, um, if Esther bring you, Esther, friend of Trent, you welcome here. Gurkavish. And Jerry will then hold out a hand to shake. And Gurkavish will look and say, we thank you for your kind words. And looks at his hand. And Jerry's just sort of holding it out very patiently. Shakes his thumb. Grigorish says, I don't know. What, what is this? And Jerry say, says, Friend Trent, show me it. Handshake. How say hello or okay with friends? Esther will begrudgingly hold her hand out. She's she's bracing for the of of her twig bones. Amazing. Jerry very very gently, like it almost like he pinches her hand with it, like with his like thumb and forefinger and sort of like gently shakes it like he's playing with like a little doll or something. You see, like he says like that. Grigovish holds out a trembling hand. Norik's like, and, it's like a sign of trust between two people. Grigovish yeah. will hold out a trembling hand. And, uh... Jerry will sort of uh, see that and he'll, uh... He'll do the same thing, the little handshake. 
Let me see. How many more handshake give? Anyways, you they can get settled in. Um, mm -hmm. Jerry will help them. Uh, he will just pull the meat they're carrying. He'll just pick it all up. Mm -hmm. and move it. Okay, yeah, so goblins. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22 goblins, 3 badgers, um, 3 goblin dogs, and a goblin pup. I vote oh, wait, hang on. The, I vote God. for the one sick badger to be named Mr. Three Bond. badger. <laughs> Two, 22 goblins, 3 badgers. 23 badgers, I lied. Uh, not badgers. <laughs> 23 <laughs> goblins, 23 yeah. 23 badgers, huh? <laughs> How many mushrooms? Wait, hang on. I think I missed another goblin. Fuck, I hate these things. Um, let me count one more time. Do we want to just make There's it a nice round 25? 7, 8, no, I named There's them. approximately, like, 15 12. mushrooms. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20. how many snakes? Okay, there's 24 goblins. Final number, 24 goblins. Mm-hmm. Three, three goblins. Well, four, technically four goblins. Three badgers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay. Hang on. 4, 8, 12, 16, and 19 Mykonids, and a Sarto, and a Carto. Amazing. They so, those don't count. Is that Somewhere. correct? What? Sarto and Carto? Uh, 24 goblins, 3 badgers, 19 Mykonids, 3 parentheses for Doblin. Yeah. The Basically, there's 3 adults and one, like, young one. Puppy! Oh, you can raise the the puppy Doblin and the baby badgers together and they'll be best friends. That's how it works. And the badgers will teach the Doblin how to rage. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are gonna have barking badgers. Because, like, when I was fighting the badger and it started raging, it was like, it's like, Nork, you see a fire in this badger's eyes that reminds you of ruins. I did Go say on. that. Um, because I knew it was the only way that I could say, hey, he's raging. Like raging without meta. I love, I love badgers so much. Badgers are great. I mean, small bears. Small bears. Yeah. Small bears. Um, yeah. So, seeing them in. You guys have one last order of business. Um, the Myconids. The Myconids, yes. Um, what are you going to do there, Stalin? What'd you call me? You heard me. Fucking can't believe this. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, Sorry, yeah, the Myconids. Round up, would that be kinder? <laughs> <laughs> she looks at. Esther looks at the Myconids. I'm assuming they can understand her. Um, one will walk forward, and it'll sort of, you know, squish down, squish up, nod at Esther. Okay. And then poof. I feel my saving throw. Uh, you can fail it if you'd like. Yeah, you can choose to fail saving throws. Yeah, yeah. I know this okay. because a certain someone chose to fail their saving throw against a werewolf. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, made a character I've been saying that you can say you can fail saving throws since the beginning. I, I made a character who had um, a drawback that was basically weak willed. So every time I made a willpower save, I just auto failed it, like intentionally. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, that was Nevitz. Anyways, um, all right. The so mushrooms are sort of, you know, she'll like, be, she'll accept bouncing. the charges on this collect call. <laughs> She'll have to figure out how to pluck fungal growths from her scales later. You see, yeah, well, I mean, there are four mushrooms that have chunks out of them. Yeah. I think we can call that a truce. Fair, She'll... you know, even. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She'll sort of communicate with them. She will say... Please sound more excited. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. They say, here, here is bright. It's too light. Where yeah. do we root? Where do we go? 
We can't live here. And she'll take them like maybe to her mushroom farm. Oh my god. The goodness. one where she's been holding where the one where she's been cultivating other mushrooms that she's been trying to regrow. Oh my god, are other mushrooms gonna come alive? This is gonna be great. Every everything that she brought from her first tribe that wasn't slowly whittled away. She has tried to regrow um, in either this house in her experiment room or like a shed. a shed or, you know. So you take them to your mushroom farm, aka the shed? Pretty much. Um, they sort of um, all fill into the room. But... I guess for, for, meta, for meta reasons. Um, would they... Okay, so first question, are they healed by healing? Uh... I don't see why not. Yeah, I don't see why not. Okay. She will inform them she needs to do a ritual first. But the very next day... Oh my god! She's going to give them a mud bath. <laughs> assuming <laughs> that... Assuming that they won't sink into the mud and die forever. Yeah, no. I'm. I mean, they'll, they'll be safe in the mud. I mean, es Esther knows mud, and she has, she also knows mushrooms. You, you, you know, you, you you cast soothing mud light edition. Pretty much. That is they, amazing. They, they seem very pleased with that. Um. When you guys went to bring the medicine to the rack, he was in bed. Um. Finally. He came in and he started complaining about how Macapa made him lie down, and how he only collapsed once it was fine. Oh my god. No, yeah. it was not fine. Because you collapsed. Lorik's like, you have to take care of yourself, if- Old man. <laughs> you know, he's like, I, I am taking care of myself by- Doing what needs to get done. Northside, let yourself... Other people are going to move faster. Other people are going to make the medicine. Your responsibility is to stay alive. Because I cannot have another political instability or I will <laughs> snap. <laughs> just give me the wow. just give me the medicine then. She gives it to him. Faster I get better, faster I get out of this prison. Exactly. You like, know. You, you can't help. You can't help if you, you know, don't take okay. care of yourself now. A little bit of downtime for more uptime. You know? Yeah, actually, when you do get there, his scales are, like, pallid. They're almost, um, like, a grayish. Again, I'm saying this with the... Mm -hmm. yeah. someone's translating, or he speaks common. I can't freaking remember who can or can't speak common. Kurtermak can speak Kurtermak common. speaks common. Okay, good. Then yeah. He's nice like that. But yeah. So, um, definitely over the next few days, um, there's the root medicine starts having an effect. Mm -hmm. Um, seems to be helping the goblin too. Goblins too. Um, combining goblin and, and kobold knowledge to make the ultimate medicine to cure colds. Mm -hmm. Maybe you guys can market it. Tamiflu. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Norik will probably like stay for a little bit just to make sure the goblins are okay and they get settled in. Um, mm -hmm. And also instruct them, um, show them how some of because th this house is like decently furnished, right? Mm hmm. I'm gonna show them like how useful Again, everything is. Again, furnished. Oh, and to he's... the millimeters. He's... The fork arrangements. He does little things that shows them. Like, he still has that swan egg. He's gonna show them how to hard boil eggs. Oh my god. Um, but he's gonna go for a little bit. He's gonna leave and go to the farm just to like kind of update everyone on what happened. You're, you're gonna crack it open and it's gonna be a baby bird inside. Oh, oh. Esther's. <laughs> They'll be like, surprise meat! 
Uh, the meat was inside the whole time. Um, no, but the other eggs, whenever they got smashed, they just had yolks. Yeah. Esther, um, I'm sure at some point you bring PJ some medicine, too. Yep. And make him drink it. Yep. Force him. Glare at him. Give him the look of death. Until I will he cover him in medicine. webs and shadows and roots if he does not. Did PJ like the Falcon Hollow Cup? That Nord <laughs> left? For him? PJ's <laughs> 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 like, oh thanks Norik, I appreciate it. Throws it with the others. No, but see, at that For point, he hadn't picked it up yet. Yeah. So Nord reminded he, he, him. No, he, didn't he have- he brought some home with him. He was going to pick up more. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's just medicine cup. <laughs> Gross. One for the stuff, one for the cold stuff. <laughs> I have a drinking challenge for you, Pitchfork Jackson. <laughs> All of it. So yeah, over the next few things, days, things to improve, and Norik, um, you and Esther, and and Ungren, who you can't keep away after she f sees that rod. Um, Jesus. Yeah, no, no, Norik, Norik Crazy. Um, asks Ungren for help um, with the rod, kind of explains what he saw. And I can stick magic! <laughs> okay, well, guess what? <laughs> hey, Ungren, you... This whole time. Um... I mean, the first thing you might want to do is warn Norik about what he's holding. Looks on you. Okay. Already cast a detect magic on it. There's, there's, um, a stone. Are you still holding onto that stupid fucking stone? Yeah. <sighs> I don't have anywhere to put it. Oh yeah, Nor Norik. Don't carry the stone that makes you sick. Norik also wants to like. Absolutely I, I mean, I already know what it is. Live like this. But I think Norik wants to also properly identify the ion stone he found, that it's cracked, so... Yeah, Ungring, Ungring can confirm that what the ion stone does. Um, um, Ungring, you recognize the metal that the rod's made out of. <laughs> Is that Ungring flesh? Ungring? I... I... There are, like, four medals. <laughs> oh, there are only four medals. This is this is the shitty one. Okay, fuck. Let me look at my notes real quick. Aluminium. <laughs> the shittiest metal. <laughs> Mercury. Uh, it's called abyssium. Okay, I was about to say that, but... Yes, it's, it's, it's black, and it's sort of, well, sort of Don't blue green. Don't look at my notes, then. Damn. Well, man, I, I googled faster than you. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get um, this along, bud. And I'm sure Ungren delivers it something like, "Oh yeah, if you spend too much time, if you spend too much time around it, you'll get sick and die." What? <laughs> so. No, that's just like an offhand comment at the end. Yeah. Um. Basically, the effects are if um as long as you're carrying um something or wearing something made of abyssium, um, you are sickened. Has Norik been feeling unwell? Uh, actually, Norik, you were feeling fine because um, what made this work in reverse? The there's a so the metal that's the metal. Um, there's a sustain, a uh, sort of basically a sustenance spell on this, mm -hmm. and there's a warding spell on this. Like, you guys have to suss it out, because it's sort of like, here's the general magic, but then it's like, it's put together in a weird way. So, basically, you guys figure out, uh, can I get a spellcraft check from you, Norik, and, uh, Lime roll a d20. Go to dice, go to ah, Google dice roller if you need I to. I have a dice right here. <laughs> Only one dice? I keep a d20 out at all times, basically. <laughs> 17. Uh, depends what the roll is. What what bonus do I add? Better than my roll. It's a spellcraft lime. Oh, so twenty nine. Oh my Jesus. god. Epster. No, actually, thirty one. Oh, you didn't ask me for one. Oh, I thought I did. Sorry. All right. I love to roll 
for. <laughs> so you, you guys do your best to help, but Ungren sort of shoots you guys away at a certain point to figure this thing out. Yeah. Um, Esther and, has, more, has more medicine to churn. Yeah. And mushrooms to care for. And angry centipedes to befriend. Um, pinch, pinch. <sighs> so what this is, is it's got some sort of warning on it. It's got some, it's got a, some sort of system spell on it. And it seems to affect um, everyone in like a 60 foot radius. So as long as you're in that radius, um, you, like, I guess, don't need to eat as much. Um, like, you'll basically feel fuller with what you eat. You don't need to drink as much. Um, it sort of protects from sickness. That doesn't sound so bad. Yeah. Oh, and you don't need to sleep as much. Basically, if you normally have to sleep six hours, you only have to sleep four. Mm-hmm. And the um, thing that prevents it was basically counteracts the material. But this is like a fucked up rod. Um, it's made of, like I said, abyssium. Um, you guys didn't even know what the fuck that was. Uh, you guys don't even know where the fuck you can get it. You've never heard of abyssium ever. So mm -hmm. thanks, Ungren. You're welcome. Gee, Ungren, where can you get the abyssium? I know metals. Where can you get Abyssium, Ungren? The Abyss! Oh, how <laughs> interesting! Yeah, that's, it's like it's in the name or some of them. <laughs> so, this metal is came from... The, is that the Chaos Demons or the Lawful... The Abyss, devils. which is where the demons live. The like, that's the Chaos Demons? Demons, yeah. not devils. Yeah. Devils are lame, they're lawful, come on. Anyways, um... So yeah, um, <sighs> however, can we just like keep it in a glass box, like, keep everybody happy and healthy at the commune? In the, sure. Demons. I think that's Brad's heritage. Esther would understand, <gasps> or Esther would explain, um, what this bar, or what this rod is to the goblin, thus, uh -huh. so, thus confirming cementing. Uh, Fucka was a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, he didn't even know what it did. It's just his magic rod that makes everything better. Um, what should we do with it? Kirkovish says. Or not Gurkovish. Regma says, uh, we could put it in the hatchery, perhaps. S somewhere safe, of, of course. But maybe it would, it, will, it would help the hatchlings and maybe any other eggs. Right, if it were that we have in the future. I do not want them in contact with the metal. That's also true. Well, okay, again, the metal, it's, it's entirely counteracted by the warning on it. I mean, it still gives people the heebie-jeebies. So, uh, or was yeah, that, I mean, or was that the void portal of death? That, that void was the void portal. portal. Okay. This is just weird metal. Esther still doesn't trust like that, so she's gonna wrap it in a jar. Mm -hmm. Or she's gonna find a jar, uh -huh. um, fill it with like wool, then the rod into the center of the wool, and oh. then. Let me finish one more thing about this. Okay. It feeds off of a life force. That's where the necromancy yeah. comes in. <laughs> they did detect necromancy. Yeah. Also, so Ingrid is going to note that she'd like to run some tests on the Ion Stone, if you don't mind. Yeah, okay. Um... So it needs something living to draw from, like touching it. Yeah, that is absolutely not going in the hatchery, actually. <laughs> wow, Nork's been touching it for a while. Whoops. Blob sweat. You can, um, yeah. might I suggest, there are other things that are alive that are not 
kobolds or goblins or even animals. A worm? Well, actually, Brit, too. Brit is right, too. <laughs> God, you just put a bunch of fucking bugs in the jar with it. No, she... She finally made progress with the Myconids. She's not going to tell them, uh, get in this jar. Get the jar! The goblins will use it if Esther's like, no, it's not going in the hatchery, not with what I know about it. Yeah. Like, she'll... She's div she's going to divulge this information completely uh, to the letter, so that they know what they're getting into if they choose to use it. <laughs> All right. Well then, I think that's everything taken care of. Yeah. There, there's your session. It took forever, and I'm sorry. There was a it's lot okay. more RP. I poisoned you myself. solved Malady's Batovo root puzzle. Yay! <laughs> My root root puzzle. <laughs> Fucking root. Yeah, so thanks thanks for playing. I'm sorry I got grumpy partway through there. I That wasn't cool of me. It's okay. It's fine. Thank I... you for the session. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys had fun. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for playing. It's it was good. very fun to watch. Actual good crying. Um. <laughs> oh man, Stefan, you're right. Hey, um. You got so excited about it, I couldn't let you forget. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Esther, can you make me a willpower saving throw? Oh! <laughs> Not a willpower, I'm sorry. A wiz. No. Uh, knowledge. Nature. Knowledge, nature. Uh... How do you go from <laughs> yeah. knowledge, nature, my dude? Look, don't Is ask. Is gonna want to make a saving throw to? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and not explode. Um. Oh, so the by the way, the good berries that the root headband gives, they're like super red, and like on the inside, they're like almost a blood red, like juice. So like after you, if some whoever eats them looks like they just like fucking like ate a heart or something. Ah. Uh. That's a very specific example. Well, it was the first one I thought of, you know. Yeah. Don't um, worry about it. What's this willpower saving throw for? Uh, it was it was me trying to make you to make a knowledge nature because I couldn't remember what it was because I, I said the wrong thing. Okay. Oh yeah. It's with these berries that you remember another name for the Potobo. Hmm. Bloodroot. And you know, there are like seven different herbs called bloodroot. Yeah, well, you know what's funny about blood, the bloodroot? Mm. Uh, you're pretty sure that's like it's okay. What makes this one obvious is when you grind it up, it's um, like the inside, um, sort of like how the sap of dark wood trees are is like a blood red. And so if you chew it, it's also blood red. And if you spit it on the people's shoes, then it also gets that nice well, blood-red color. Every day was chewy. The... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the root root is tobacco. Speaking of... It's chewing tobacco. Speaking of tobacco, at some point... Oh, this root is so hard to find. You'll only find it in the goblin cave or in the monastery. No one has found a true source. No one has been able to replicate regrowing it. Speaking of tobacco, I don't know if this is before or after Esther figures it out, but Norik says that... Norik um, says that, hey, I found these like little seed seedling things. I think it's tobacco. <coughs> I don't know. I, I know you'd like to do stuff with plants, so I figured I'd see if you wanted it. Or can you imagine Zach exactly is... Kind of you like... burn the tobacco seeds! Also, it makes I... sense that a lumberjack would have it because they are deforesting all the time and they dig up roots. Unless they're bad at their job. Well, no, like, had... I, I genuinely don't understand. Payday has a nice salary. They are seeds. I don't know. And he has a bad habit. Norsa, I don't know. They're seeds. I figure, like, I don't know. Gross stuff. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I mean, PJ! No! <laughs> it's 
Isabella, help! I'm being bullied. Look, it's even more reason to kill Payday. You can kill him oh and take goodness. all of his blood root. I just fall over. Ugh, I didn't even play this session and I'm emotionally exhausted. <laughs> Husky, you're always emotionally exhausted. <laughs> yeah, but especially from this. Like, my god. <laughs> okay, so step one. The Batova root. Yeah. Somehow impossible to regrow. No, it's not impossible to regrow. It's just, like, you haven't had any success. Like, you can plant it, it stays alive, it does not grow. Well, maybe a that little, is but... not the impression that I got. <sighs> Step two. The Garkur and Batovo was nigh impossible to find in the human town. Uh, no. Goosey said he doesn't have any. Uh, Laurel said she has some. But it's hard to come by. Remember, she wanted you to pay fifty gold for like, like a tiny scrap. Mm-hmm. Is it just because Payday is driving up the demand? <laughs> <laughs> I will. That's the vibe I'm getting. <laughs> step, step three. This circlet is made of batobo. Confirmed. Mm-hmm. It's been preserved in some way. Similar to the stick wands you have. The root wands you have, I mean. I only got one. Yeah, I remember that. Is it a... Is it a per day wand, or is it a Mac number it of charges? It has 18 charges on it. And then... The so but the apothecary didn't just call it Batobo root. And she didn't call it tobacco root. It's not tobacco root. Okay. Um look, Esther would know this that because it's a regent, because it sort of activates things, um, it's bitter as all hell, which is probably why it hasn't caught on. Um, but if you do chew it, it is... Sorry. Um, if you do chew it, it's sort of a... You know, like, people who take Ritalin? Mm -hmm. Like, as, you know, not because they need it, but because... Oh. Yeah. It's got okay. that sort of effect. Okay. But again, it's, has, it's bitter. Mm-hmm. I'm sure Esther. It's it's bitter more bitter than the bitter root. Mm. It's hard to get bitterer than Esther. <laughs> <laughs> I know Darkwood Bark has some um um medicinal properties for something too. The Darkwood trees make up a common chew for the lumberjacks. Right? Because they were chewing bark, not root. Right? Payday was. The, the lumberjacks probably chew bark. Payday chews root. I guess you could say he's at the root of the problem. Hey, Lime, why do you get yourself <laughs> sweatered every time I talk to you? <laughs> Man, should have taken the, that from Payday then when he offered it. Didn't know it was valuable. This is the lesson. Always take drugs from <laughs> people that you might kill later. <laughs> so, most of them do the bark, not the root. Yeah. PD, the PD Tedious does the root. Yeah, the root has a better effect. The bark is more like, it's not as bitter, but it's not as potent for this. Mm -hmm. They've been they've been tearing up the earth and exposing Batolo to the surface. And probably burning it. Uh-huh. Honestly, we should have just gone to the lumber lumber mill. Saw nothing of this 
You guys didn't know what Batobo was. We came like, out with more knowledge. If you, if even if you knew Payday, cho choose Blood Root. Blood Root's the same thing as Batobo Root. It's you know. I mean, I guess you could say I'm going to go kill Payday now, but. I mean, she is going to go p kill Payday now. It yeah. That's it, the, end <laughs> the big thing Hopefully is it doesn't get to kill Payday at some point. <laughs> it doesn't change the knowledge you would have had. If one person doesn't kill Payday, one of the others is going to kill Payday. <laughs> I think everyone is at a tense agreement that someone will kill Payday. No, everyone's <laughs> going to kill Payday. He's going to like have seven swords No, what's going to happen is that we're then... going to be fighting Payday, and then something is going to come up. And then it's like, oh, well, but we have to not kill him. If that <laughs> happens, I really I... don't appreciate that, Salah. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Okay. The like the Batobo was common underground, so the rit rarity was more of an artificial one. It was common. Okay, okay, no, your rarity was you couldn't get it anywhere quick. The journey to the monastery would be almost a week there and back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or. It'd be four or five days, and you would have to go pretty deep underground. That's the problem. Okay. It's plentiful underground, but you have to go deep underground, because that's where these roots are. And they're digging that deep in the logging? Huh? No, like, like I said, they, they use the bark. Who knows where Payday gets his root? <laughs> Can you imagine Payday like, ah, oh, yes, I'm importing this, importing this rare root. Fucking like, it grows everywhere beneath his feet. <laughs> I mean, he probably gets it from Laurel. The herb Where does Laurel herbs? get it, though? She I probably has Laurel to... has to die then. She probably has to special order it just for payday. <laughs> Gosh. Hmm. Hey, uh, Sal, I made you DM. Uh, I made you GM so you can go to uh, tab um, that's to the right of Cobalt Commune. Uh. Refresh. Anyways, next session is going to be probably two weeks from now. Um, Who's up next, Zach? Yeah, Zach's next. Oh, oh, oh Zach's next? Oh, Zach. Zach. I thought Zach was last. Nope. <laughs> it's a werewolf. Is um, you said which map? Uh, it's to the right of Kobold Commune. Commune House? Mm-hmm. Zach's next. Stefan has left the scheming group. <laughs> <laughs> the scheming. Now you are being schemed. Oh. It is time for me to design? I mean... Well, hang on. I have some stuff I have kept for many, many years. Actually, it has been years at this point. But yeah. <laughs> Um, here. Oh. Anyways, uh, so yeah, Zach's gonna be next. It's gonna hopefully be two weeks, but I've been pretty burnt out, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. Well, we've got a lot more time, and like now that I'm helping, it won't be as bad. It's true. All right. Um, well, thanks for playing. I'll yeah. See all you guys later. I hope you had fun. I did. Mm -hmm. I had fun. Yeah. Yeah. It was very fun. It's very spooky.